I'll take you for a ride on the devil ship. I'll take you for a ride where you sink or swim. Now come with me and let this story begin. Joe Fo in the house. Yeah, boys. Welcome, gentlemen. Hey, Yo, how you been? Us. Good, man. I haven't seen you in a minute it, live, but True. I have been watching your podcast live. Don't lie. I haven't seen you guys live. Well, we've seen him in the chat. Yeah, I, I watch it. <laughs> it's bots. It's a Pat Dallas bot. I, yeah, oh, that'd be so funny. He, he, he just goes, goes on to everybody. Just hello, to sure. friends. Yeah. yeah. Hello, friends. Hi. How is it you are doing? <laughs> hello. Yeah, I am number one comedy man in India. Uh, no, no, I've been watching your shit. What have you guys been up to in La Salle now? Fuck, dude. Uh, in La Salle? I mean, it's pretty much business as usual. Uh, La Salle hasn't changed much, Studios. Man. The sound has not changed much. Not very much. Uh, no. I mo- I moved out. I mean, since I think I was moved out the last time I did the did show. Did you move out or did you get kicked out? Is it uh, it was a fine line? No, ah, it's a fine line. It's uh, a fine. Everything's line. a fine. Nothing's hundred percent. Either way, you're not there anymore. I'm not Are there you, anymore. Do you live close? Uh, yeah, yeah, I still live in LaSalle. Okay. I don't think I'll ever leave LaSalle. LaSalle, listen, talk shit. Talk what you may. All right, Mr. Yeah. Park X. Yeah, I didn't talk shit. I, but, I was yeah, you were going to. You were going to. Phil. La- <laughs> <laughs> but LaSalle here. Uh, Better than better than Park X. Let's let's play. About it. Okay, so if we're let's gonna fight. lie on this let's podcast, let's if we're lying. lying. We're lying. If we're gonna lie on this movies. podcast, <laughs> two movie theaters. No, we only have one now. I think. Yeah, now. <laughs> yeah, now we have one movie theater. Yeah, Cinema Guzzo. Ooh, that's a good one though. All that okay? Isn't that technically Lacadie? Yeah, Lacadie's Park X. It's part of Park X. Oh. What is this area called? We were we were trying to think. Uh, this is the uh, what's it called? Poseidon the the garment district. the garment district. But is that what it's technically called? Yeah, I said yeah, that. Yeah. yeah, I said just Chabanel, the Schmata district. Yeah. It's like it's not Utremo. No, that's no, further down. Utremo's that way. the other way. That way. Utremo's south of Park X. I don't drive, so I'm, I, I just shoot out random things and see yeah. if I get a no, feel. No, Utremo's yeah. south of Park X. Yeah. And then Mile. We're near Laval, right? <laughs> we're closer I, than I, I, if we were in LaSalle to Laval. Oh yeah. I have no idea. I mean, Park X, all the good stuff border it. So Rockland, Marche Central, yeah, it's just nobody right wants outside to go the into border. Park X. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I understand. Yeah. This is a black hole at the epicenter. <laughs> but LaSalle, you, are you guys doing what I meant by LaSalle? Not are you living, are you uh, eating? What I meant was, are you doing your comedy shows? You're doing <laughs> shit. We're doing. Uh, we're obviously we're, eating. We're doing. Yeah. Bare, <laughs> we're doing the bare minimum, to be honest. But uh, we're, we're going to start revamping. Uh, Jofo? Yeah, we're going to start revamping. Bruno's got this whole wild plan that he tried to explain. Does it include badass cameras? Yes. Because that's what I've noticed. That's what I spent money on upgrade. It's the camera quality helps. Yeah, we well, definitely need it. We definitely need to do something with that. Yeah, because right now we're, we're running off webcam. Still. still, it's oh, still you need the bare minimum upgrade. What do you have ca- t- uh, well, two. I have the Sonys now. So the, I have those handy cams there for two of us. And the other two have the new AX53s that I have. These are nice. Me and you are on the, on the high def shit. Uh, you're on the regular, but even the regular stuff that I'm using here, way better than a webcam. Yeah. Yo, how about this? But, but sorry yes, to interrupt you. Yes. How but many cameras are you using? Two. Well, we're doing. We got three webcams for different angles, but it's. But you you have so you need three cameras. No, we don't. We need one really. Uh, well, well no, you need at least two. You oh well, okay. Two. So look, so Bruno changed the whole fucking studio he up. He changes now. shit all the time. You see, before we had the table going straight through and we were each on one side, so we're facing each other at like a little bit of an angle. Now we're next to each other. Is it weird for you? It's very weird because you gotta fucking go like this and talk to the other So why don't you go back to normal? I don't know. It's not our decision. It's Bruno's house now. (laughs) (laughs) Doesn't make a difference. But even when we have a guest, we had fucking a few guests and they're sitting in the middle and they gotta go like, hey, yeah, you know what's going on? Hey, yeah, you know what's going on? It's weird for the mics, but. Whatever we're like, I started we're holding things. mine now. I started holding my mic because I find it's the easiest thing. When you're in that situation, back. yeah, you got it. just like Bordel. If you're doing Suzukut, you're all on the wall yeah. looking out, right? Yeah. But you guys, uh, podcast setting should be more like this. That's, I agree. That's what I would see that, I, bro. <laughs> take that into consideration. Yeah, it makes it easier on everyone. I agree. It's just more natural. Yeah, it's just more natural when you have a conversation. This is the reason why you go into a restaurant when you're two people. You don't fucking sit on the same side of the table. Yeah, yeah. I hate that shit. Right? Like it's, a bunch of. Fucking I used to retouch. when he would do it sometimes. Like we'd sit and he'd go next to me. I'd be like, "Bro, we're on a fucking date, bro. Go sit Gay. over there. Go sit over there. <laughs> Defend yourself. Yeah. That's because you were forcing me to watch basketball. Yeah. As long as it's not women's basketball, <laughs> yeah, bro. There's no harm, no foul. I wasn't asking you to watch Britney Griner. I was uh, watching Kyle Lowry. Is that, ridic- is that ridiculous? How many times did you talk about that? Yeah, it's too much. I'm tired. Yeah, I'm tired of all this stuff. It's crazy, eh? Um, and I just, I just found out that the stories from Lord of War are about this guy. Yeah, the, and I just yeah. rewatched Lord of War like this weekend. Yeah, he almost got AIDS. This guy. Re- oh, at, in Africa. Yeah, 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 it's crazy. But he didn't. He's a. <laughs> He didn't. He's a man. How do you almost get AIDS? Well, 
Just one slip. The pull out, you pulled out just in time? You pulled out just in time. <laughs> no, I think he, because he woke, he was trying not to bang the locals because they had AIDS. Uh, so then I think he, he got drunk or something and yeah. he woke up okay. surrounded by women he probably banged and he's like, Oh, see that that? Yeah, that's that's a, actually that see is that? exactly how you almost get AIDS. Yeah. Exactly <laughs> but he didn't, so we're like almost. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You were this close. Yeah. He would have been uh, the Lord of uh, HIV medication. Yeah. <laughs> but no, 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 no. He's still the Lord of War. Oh God. So what are we saying? Oh yeah, so about the cameras. Um, yeah, uh, is there plans on upgrading those? Does Bruno have any? Well, now there is. Yes, because you just fucking drill, drill those new assholes. So yeah, there's gonna be. Uh, yeah, for we're sure. Gonna, we're gonna be it helps. Upgrade. I when people first tune in, they're like, "Oh, these are not webcams. These are cameras. Let's fucking go." It definitely helps. But technically, what's the difference if I had a ten a ten a ten eighty webcam and a ten eighty? Or just better fucking resolution, I yeah, guess. Yeah. So, for example, look at. Go watch this back yeah. and watch like a Jofo stream or whatever. Yeah. Any you episode. see it's the pixels. Yeah, you see it's the, the pixels. But, but if it's 1080, it's 1080, no? Not no, really. No. I don't think a 1080 no. webcam does the same because it's it, it, it doesn't take like I know that this camcorder, for example, and he has another, the Z V one or ten that he uses for his vlogs. We try to hear it can't zoom in as much. So then once you start going in digital zoom, uh, okay. It, it, fucks it, up. it fucks up the quality. Yeah, this is all stupid nerd shit. Yeah, the point yeah. is, 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 visually you could see it. You could see it. It's big time nerd shit. I was yeah. at a, I was at a wedding and the the photographers there talking about uh, like Steve was talking about his this new lens that he got and like oh is that the PF forty sixteen yeah and he's like yeah dude and then he's like oh is that the fucking XQRV and he's like no XQRQ like hello LGBTQ yeah. pl- two yeah. I would have been there like yo is that abroad I'm going there <laughs> yeah. Yeah. take a picture fucking nerds uh, yeah, yeah upgrade yeah Up- we're gonna how much does it cost for uh, for one of those can I don't have to buy them brand new, I guess, right? You don't have to. I I bought these two brand new. I I, I don't regret it, but it made me sad. <laughs> They're expensive. The, the other ones, I don't know if you can still buy them, but these ones were the best. These ones because they're for cheaper. Buck? Bang for your buck. It's like three hundred bucks each. Three three to five, depend on where you find them. Bang for your buck is the best. You could fill up your whole fucking studio for fifteen hundred bucks or even less than a thousand, depending on how much you get them. Let's do it. The handy cans. These fucking four K ones though, they're like thirteen ninety nine each. So it's fucking expensive, bro. That's expensive. Yeah. Jesus. Yeah. Plus tax. What'd you do with the old ones? I have them over there. He's using them for uh, comfort zone. Oh, there you go. Yeah, that works. But uh, what was I going to say? Is there a, like these cameras? Like the reason why you pay, I was telling, is because you pay a lot is because the ability to like either shoot moving or on the spot. Like, are you paying like the, like your camera? You're able to walk with it. Like the, the fucking when you just paid around, like you know. Yeah, but we're not going to walk with it. The reason why I want it is for it has good low light exposure because we're inside the studio. Uh, yeah, it, it's clear because it's a 4K. It's just. It's a better camera. It's yeah. a better quality lens. That's why. Okay. Yeah. But if you wanted to, you could take it around and it would be... Perfect. We could film a movie with these ones. Yeah. 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 Okay. So let's Which fucking go. Any it has a stabilizer. So let's go. Oh, it does? Yeah. So let's go. You got a script? No. No, if you're going to film a movie, but <laughs> Phil's got the like actual movie camera. Oh, yeah? Movie. Yeah, that's what he does. Fuck, that's sick. Mm. I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah, he's a producer. No, he's a video director, videographer, videographer, director. He does all that shit. So I want to know: Are you putting shows up now? You're gonna do the comedy shows at one of your local bars? Uh, at one of our local bars? Because you guys used to do those jams. Yes, the Jofo jam. The Jofo jam. Uh, those were those were that was that one one that we did <laughs> there. Uh, that was fucking cool. But yeah. we have to <clears throat> we have to put something together because through the years we've been just you know making friends with these people that are doing things now yeah. you know they got uh, third floor yeah. they got fucking uh the the basement there uh bunry do the basement at the hostel and you guys are stagnating is what you're saying 100 percent. let me, let me give you some advice we are uh, we are growing algae in a pond right now let me give you some advice the live we- jofo podcast at the third floor yeah like on a separate not the original like not our show the original stays and then you do like a one-off once a month. People come out. You go on that. You do it from that stage. Yeah, that would be cool. You can stream that shit. Like Legion of Skank style? Like just a straight up podcast a straight up in podcast the bar. in the bar. I like it. I fucking like it too. Yeah, or else I wouldn't have said it. We could even come up with a gimmick. like. Uh, but that's the gimmick though. But well, I'm, I'm saying like You get some high level comedians. I don't know if you heard of these young guys. There's a guy called, what's his name? Clodeo Caparai. <laughs> Um, oh, uh, yeah, like solid Silvio, Silvio, okay. Silvio, Silvio, Silvio Claudio, yeah, yeah, this guy, Claudio. bro, we're talking, yeah, fire. next level. Fire. Should, but I heard he's hard to get. I heard he's, uh, you gotta, he well, plays we've been hard trying. To get. He, he plays, plays hard, hard to get. get. Yeah, we, we've to been get. trying. You gotta get his mother but to sign a release. And we, <laughs> very difficult. We, we asked him, we asked him on Monday, really. You wanna come on the, or well, we asked I, him before asked him Monday. Two weeks ago. Two weeks ago. Because he asked me every fucking day to come on the show. Okay, he's like, you wanna come next Monday? Okay. How long did he text before he, uh, to cancel? 
Oh, I, I messaged him the day before. Are we still good for tomorrow? No, there? I got something uh, to do. I, I, I may be working. I'm only going to find out tomorrow. How do you only find out the and day then, of and if then you're on working? on the podcast, he messages us. He goes, oh, let me know when I can be on the show. <laughs> <laughs> he's a, a capital O tist. So he's, a, he's the big he's O. Man, man, man. Get, do something with Claudio. Bring him along. Bring some other people. Have a fun night. Joke around. I think it'll be good. I'll show up. Fucking yeah, yeah, yeah. Make it a thing. Yeah, I think you we guys should. gotta get out there, boys. Yeah. I know. I well, know. I, I, now's I, the time. I'm like, I have like, I have to get up on stage and do five minutes. That's that's what I'm. That's my nice. I've, I've yeah. risen court I, ordered. Uh, <laughs> as long as it's not near, it's not a, near school. a school, yeah. Uh, but I've been really like, I've been writing stuff down. But you know what it is? I'm too picky. Like I, I, I just got to go up and fucking fuck up and, and yeah, do bomb. It. Yeah. yeah, it is. Like you I, have, I want to have, I want to have bomb. everything yeah. fucking right? like kaboom. Five minutes rehearsed, you know. Like, but I, I know it's not gonna work like that, you know. Like I know and I'm gonna. Yeah, you always. Yeah, he's, he's never afraid gonna, if it's not perfectly rehearsed, he'll drop the end bomb or something. He'll pull up my dick. Yeah, I don't want to be myself up there. Is that my phone? Whose phone is that? I don't know what's going. It's ringing. What? It's Josh Shapiro. Is it? Oh, wow! Speak of the yeah. Well, no, I'm not picking up. I'm gonna. This guy got through my alarm. Fucking guy. <laughs> but yeah, we we have to do uh, we have to do something like that, and we have to throw another Jofo jam because yeah. since the last one, we could it's we could definitely do it so much. Last it's been what, what a year and a half. Last one? Nothing. Since the last one, we met, we met a lot more people. We we became friends with a lot yeah. more comedians. You know, so we could definitely switch the lineup. We okay. write another song. Yeah, like I don't know if you, but the last one we had, bro, we had musicians, we had fucking yeah, we had uh, bands, we had a, a, band a fucking and, raffle. And we give away like these, it was uh, these bad have boys. the legendary Guido Grasso perform? No, I think he was Next in. Next uh, one, you should. I think he was incarcerated. <laughs> it doesn't sound like him. It sounds like him. <laughs> I actually, I watched. I, I watched the. Can we speak about the uh, the comfort zone? Of course, because like I said before, the idea is spot on. Do you want to tell them what it is? If uh... yeah, for those of you who don't know, every Wednesday it streams on the channel, but you're better off coming and watch it live at the Third Floor Comedy Club on Crescent Street, downtown Montreal. Yeah. It's essentially comedians, open micers, are trying to do their set in the most uncomfortable way imaginable. So they're out of their comfort zone. That's why it's called comfort zones. For example, they're getting waxed. Uh, raped Depending on the <laughs> level That we decide that Some people are gonna have Shock collars I heard a taser's Stop. coming Yeah I heard there's a taser coming I heard some chicks Want to do those vibrators That we control Oh my god uh, And many men uh, well, No uh, for the women But <laughs> okay. many men Apparently called up And want to do it Unsolicited Josh Shapiro Made this clear He goes I didn't ask anyone And they keep volunteering They go Yeah I'll put a fucking Dildo in my ass <laughs> I said, But I didn't ask you To do any of that okay. This is You're trying to find An excuse here. They're Basically they're trying To be He's like down. They're trying to be like, babe, 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 it's not gay. It's not it's gay. comedy. <laughs> it's comedy. It's theater. Well, it's well, going to be his first five minute set. I, I messaged him that, but it had nothing to do with comedy. Yeah. Yeah. It had nothing to do with I'm, the comedy scene. You, you, mean, you mean for comfort zone? Yeah. What's that? Yeah. <laughs> What's comfort zone, bro? Yeah. So, so, so you like the idea? I, I love the idea because yeah. I was I was thinking like what differentiates and it's it's great. Now the hard part B is going to be coming up with those new fucking ideas, how to throw them off every time. No, right? also getting calm because we had a guy, we had a Nazi come on last <laughs> week, and Stop. Uh, yeah, but then he asked us to del to like remove. You had him. Kanye West on the podcast? No, 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 no. Not a real Nazi. Not a real Nazi. A Montreal Nazi. Uh, no, a guy who I guess he used to be a Nazi is a reformed or some shit. I don't know. Oh, Neo. Uh, he's a Neo not not Nazi. Uh, I don't know. What the not a Third Reich. Uh, now I'm, I'm confusing his story because he's like, he I'm not a Nazi, but he has Nazi old. tattoos. <laughs> so uh, he's part of the Fourth Reich. So <laughs> so this guy, and then he has to remove it. And then uh, what's his name? Josh is pissed. Josh is like, yo, we're going to create releases. And you if like so people could fuck off. Like if you agree to do it, yeah. you can't then regret it. Yeah. It, right, like you sucked or it didn't go yeah, your yeah. way. Well, yeah, it's it's content. It's part of yeah. you own that now. Yeah, yeah that's the to thing. To do right? with what you please. Yeah, but yeah, the, right? I like, so I was just saying. Yeah, the idea. Wait, but was he making anti-Semitic jokes or he was who this Nazi that you uh, had on? No, no, he was there just making regular jokes while he was getting waxed. Uh, but when he came on and then took off his shirt. It was like one of those, I was like, oh, I saw some tattoos. I was like, oh, this is going to be interesting. And like American History X style? No, they were like Norse mythology, except he had like a German thing. I don't know what the fuck it was. Anyways, I defended the kid. I said, look, maybe he's just a fan of unfinished mazes, that sort of thing. Uh, you know, give him the benefit of the doubt. But then when he um, when he went, reached out to Josh and stuff, Josh was pissed. He's like, yo, what the fuck, bro? This is some bullshit. Why'd you come on? I, you knew what it was. You knew you were going to be on. If you're ashamed of your fucking tattoos, why'd you come on? Okay. And a, uh, and, and a fucking... And, and display take your them. shirt off. If, you know? In front of a man named Shapiro. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> so, what anyways, uh, we have to make sure the quality of comedians isn't the lowest caliber. They have to be yeah, open micers be- that are, are trying to be comedians, not open micers that are there because they're like, I want to talk in a microphone. Right. You, know, you need, yeah. Well, yeah, yeah you, gotta, because you gotta say something. You gotta it, be- it has to. Hold, it, they have to be good because if yeah. you just start throwing, making some guy eat crackers that already sucks, <laughs> oh, it makes it bad. It's, it's just a guy eating just, crackers. Then it's just a fucking guy eating crackers. Yeah, yeah. right. Yeah. What if uh, but no one's gonna eat any white people on the show? <laughs> like, Maybe. Uh-huh. Yeah, go on. What if Release we even forms. added uh, like some some stuff like comfort zone? Like we could do. Uh, somebody tries to do a set dressed as, you know, what? dress dress like what? a priest or dress like something. But wacky. how is that uncomfortable? <laughs> You're such Unless a basic bitch for him. You're so, how is that it's uncomfortable? uncomfortable? Unless it's like a really itchy sweater. Bro, like, I, don't like a you, I don't know about you. I don't know about you, but I live my life in first person, not in third person. So if I'm on stage. I could be wearing a shirt that says vagina on it. I'm not going to think I, about I it. I'm just yeah, but you stuff. know and you have to do your set, but it's distracting to people. But the whole point is for the person <laughs> doing it to be uncomfortable. Yeah, that would make not me uncomfortable. Everybody. How would that make you uncomfortable? Because I know I'm dressed like a priest. No, you don't. You're just saying your your set, and even if you're just like a priest, why would that make you? That's not uncomfortable. Yeah, you can't do comedy on Halloween. Yeah. It's more uncomfortable for the altar boys. That's like a practical joke that a nine year old would play. Yeah, <laughs> change your clothes. Whenever, whenever there's like Halloween shows at comedy clubs, comedians go up and they're dressed like all kinds of, and they do their yeah, set. But that's no, yeah. Halloween, yeah. it's expected. You gotta like let bees go on the stage or something. That's yeah, comfortable. yeah, that's yeah exactly. Yeah, 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 have a midget you kick you in the nuts. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Get a midget just playing rope a dope yeah. with your balls yeah, while you're doing your set. If everyone in the crowd are dressed like priests and you're doing your set that's uncomfortable and you're for dressed the like an altar boy yeah <laughs> then it's that's uncomfortable no, you can or be dressed dress as a priest and let, let young children go off on the stage yeah, that yeah, would yeah. be or you have to hold a snake yeah while you do your set you could do that but then animal cruelty people are gonna come after us and shit I don't want that no the sign the snake signs a waiver <laughs> As long as, <laughs> so we are actively looking for new employees. I just, just attach with your CV an IQ test. Anything above eighty, you're forty points higher than what we need, so it'll be good. You gotta sign your name. Uh, 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 yeah. So we're looking for new things. To make sure they come yeah. But well, it's a great idea. So, uh, you said that was Josh's idea? That it was one? Josh, yeah. Him and Poseidon, well, Josh wanted to do a show. I told Poseidon to work out something so you could do it on third floor. And then I guess it's hard for them because they're both trying to make it work. But Poseidon has a weird schedule. Um, yeah. 15 hours of sleep a day. It, it's, fucking, it's like a bear. <laughs> it gets it's nice. no, so it's hard uh, for them I feel to, you, bro. I feel it's, you. it's hard for them to get together. But as it starts rolling, once it gets comfortable and they figure out how much time uh, a week I see what you did there. Comfortable. Making, comfortable. Yeah, yeah. Uh, then it's going to be... got to get in your comfort zone to be able to do your comfort <laughs> yeah, yeah. zone. Then it's going to be really rolling. Now it's the inception. Mm-hmm. It's the yeah. early stages. It's, We're it's, feeling it out. It's in the womb still. Yeah. The, what the, is it? It's you Wednesday just night? Came, you just came in it. At like 8.30. So you're doing it tonight? Yeah. We're going to be there tonight. You want to go by tonight? You come by tonight. What the fuck you doing tonight? Oh, yeah, come hang out. Yeah, fuck it. Uh, I was going to watch Survivor, but uh, yeah, I could come. No, no. Like, do straight activities. Come, uh, <laughs> just come hang out. Wait, just watching pretend. Survivor while naked with my best friend <laughs> and jerking <laughs> off is not straight? Yeah. Uh, Oh, okay. I don't know. I don't know your friend was there. Yeah. I don't know. There was another guy there. Now yeah, it's a dude's night. Frank Joffo. Frank Joffo. Oh, you, it's a bro's you, night, you're, bro. You're the gay one. Yeah. It's bad. <laughs> gay bros. Um, you know what, Survivor? How's Frank doing? My cat? Yeah. My cat or the, the fat other? fuck the cat? I'll tell <laughs> you that much. Are you talking about Frank the the? Because I have a cat, cat is also Frank. Frank. I'm talking about your cat. <laughs> it's cat's good. She's fat. big. It's bad. Yeah. She's like your dad. You gotta let <laughs> You gotta let her walk more. It's a fucking cat, bro. What do you mean? I'm not, I'm not gonna be one of those guys that walk their cat. Just let her out. I tr- I try. She goes like four feet out of the door and then she just like st- <laughs> the world. She yeah. she learns very quickly that the uh, inside is better. Yeah. I, I bought I bought my girlfriend like one of those uh, my girlfriend's cat, actually, rather. One of those mice with the like the bell in it and the catnip. Oh. And I've never seen them fucking lose their minds. Yeah, catnip is... It's crazy. They're whacked out fucking. of their brains. And it's it's exactly like Will Ferrell's audition from SNL. The way he plays oh, with it yeah, yeah. and then goes away. And then what's that? And then goes back and plays with it. And then, like, what the fuck are you staring at when you just stare at the wall or something? But what like, is, cats are fucking What is weird. catnip? Catnip is just, uh, it's like a eucalyptus or something, right? It's, it's just it's a, crack it's, cocaine. It's, it's crack for, 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 cats. for cats. Cats lose their goddamn minds on that yeah? shit. Yeah. yeah, and I never knew because I never had cats. But not all of them. Some of them do, some of them don't. It's... Uh, What's Bruno up to? He's uh, he's working and he's producing his shit. We've merged recently the two channels, the uh, Jofo on the Ring and the Jofo Podcast. Okay, merge Jofo TV. We just stopped putting out content on Jofo TV, uh, <laughs> Jofo uh, in the Ring, yeah. and moved it to Jofo uh, because... YouTube doesn't have an option to merge anymore, huh? 
The way they used to? I think they used really? to have a merch channel thing, yeah. Really? No, he. we just uh, started posting content on Jovo.tv. Yeah, I noticed that. Instead of uh, Jovo in the ring. Something with the monetization. We couldn't get monetized. There was a big problem with the... I don't know what the fuck they were doing with the, if it was because of clips or because of yeah, this yeah. and that. But uh, they couldn't get monetized on the Jovo in the ring, even though they had over a 1,000, whatever. And they met all the criteria. They kept on getting shit happening. So I think they just got fed up and they're like... Might as well put this content here. You could, they still post it on the other one too, but like, I don't, I don't know. I, I don't know if that's counterproductive. But really. they had good numbers, though, no, on their channel. Yeah, but yeah, wrestling fans are, are tight. Are, yeah, they're oh, hardcore. Gosh. Wrestling fans are very, uh, what's the word? N- nishi, no, nishi. They like nishi. Nishi. Very nishi. Yeah. Very nishi. Well, you would know better than anyone. You saw the the crowd that was outside the uh, the what was it the uh, in Toronto when you went to go see uh, AEW. AEW. Oh yeah. They were the they crowd were, was wild outside. Yeah, they were I just saw the videos that they took. Full wrestling. We just, we just put them out. People were doing suplexes on each other on, outside on the, on the pavement outside. Yeah, like it's wild. That's how it used to be when I was young. And we're we're going to wrestling. It still be. Damn. It still be that way. No, no. This is outside. Like out. This is forty year old grown men outside of the fucking wherever it's set where we were the Coliseum. I think it was called. Does make sense? But it's just boys. You just describe boys being boys, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah, awesome. Yeah. But, but oh, like, it's not we, a bad we, thing. We filmed, good, we filmed the same it. kids that were doing it that 20 years ago. We it's the same it. kids still doing it. Yeah, it was great. It was good. Yeah. It, it's, uh, that's wrestling fans, though, right? They don't but give a shit about what's, what's uh, getting Bruno, laid or. So Bruno's working because I remember there was all these plans for that video game place, and then mm. they just shut their doors down and they kicked Jofo out. That's gone. That's yeah, gone. Yeah, well, I mean, that wasn't, uh, that was because of the pen. Like, the guy. <clears throat> Then like it was one one day it was there and the next day he sent the message to everybody saying, "Ciao," because the 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 well, he was he was a fucking yeah. uh, retard. Oh yeah, that's all the thing there. But yeah, but like that was uh, he says it's because of the pan. I don't know what the fuck it was. Joe's money or whatever. I don't, I don't know. But yeah, but we got to find a new. Well, Bruno's uh, the spots. The spots are spot. there. It's really it's it's about like it's about finding a, a a special show like you guys have like you like I, like really I'm thinking of killing you and stealing your idea cuz the idea is so good like <laughs> it's not it's, about finding one it's about creating one that's what I mean finding a, an idea like uh, yeah. like we were even thinking give somebody like a topic like you make everything a topic but even that's been done too everything's you know? been fucking done everything's been done that's why I'm so like yours is so it's the idea is great like it's uh, and you could even you could even like I was thinking but you don't even have to like, come up with new shit every time you can just recycle your stuff right yeah, yeah. Well, we said roast battle, which isn't isn't very unique. I mean, it's 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 not done very often. I mean, it around. is done very often, just not in this city. In Montreal, I mean, yeah. You're but not going to get a lot of good roasters, though. That's the no, th- you don't think? There's for the amount of good comics we have, because now you have to filter. There's not a lot of good comics, right? There's good comics, but not as many as other cities. And then from those good comics, they got to be able to roast. Yeah, that's true. And a lot, like our best comics here, don't roast. But it would be good if they did. But it's they're not. They don't have the, the muscle. It's true. Yeah. I I I think it's more like I do it by myself. Was sitting at home. I roast my I roast uh, everybody I watch on YouTube. You know. I yeah. think yeah. I think it's a question of just they're trying it. You know. It also has to be done properly. Like you have to give the guy stuff that you're able to roast him about. Like you got to like because they had tried the roast battles here. You remember this? No, I don't. Uh, with who was doing I it? I went to judge them once at uh, yeah. Who, do you remember who was like, doing it? What seems a good roaster, and then like everyone else, it, it just felt weird. Okay. Like I was like, well, he wear hats, gay, <laughs> and I was like, fuck, bro, this isn't a roast. You and then I would, hats? I would roast as a judge, and it's like, oh, that's too far. Really? Yeah. Well, who thought that was too far? The crowd or the roasters? Everybody was just looking like that's a bit that's, much. That, that's but I had problem. a good joke. It was someone who said, I think it was Celine who said everybody. Jason Celine said everybody thinks that he looks gay. Or, I forgot what the fuck it is. <laughs> Because everyone was doing the same gag. I was like, why do they keep calling him gay? Like, it's the same joke over and over. He's not gay, you know? And then I had said something like, because sh- his set was shit. I said, I wish he was, and he had AIDS, so he would just die. So I don't deal with the <laughs> Like, oh. something like that. Like, I went really, really hard. And they're like, that's too much. Yeah. You fi- do you find you're uh, doing comedy? You find there's a lot of, uh, of of crowds like that? You find there's a lot of more PC but crowds? Or are they going in the other direction? Yeah. I mean, my crowd's... They let me go wherever I want. They get it. They get what I'm doing. Because they're they coming to see you around. and they yeah. know. But you ever do like a special guest uh, spot where they're offended by your... Oh, I, shock, I shock people on Saturday. I, I, I shock people all the time. It happens. Okay. It, but, but it's not even... It's never the shop. It's never shocking jokes that, that get people mad. It's jokes that they feel... It's never like a racist massage. It's never that. It's always a joke that someone feels like, that's about me. Well, that's, that's like what I yeah. talk about a job or something. Okay, I'm making yeah. fun of a job. My uh, father was a janitor for 30 like years. That. But it's like, guys, you're getting offended <laughs> at the wrong thing. Yeah. yeah. You know? 
Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, who was the most recent one that posted that, that they went crazy? Aaron Berg. Did you see? Oh, uh, of course I saw it. I fucking commented on it. Yeah. But him, he's also dealing with a lunatic. Like one of these. Sh- there was a fucking bunch of them in that crowd. Yeah. No, but one of the lunatics that was uh, commenting on his Instagram in all caps, she's like always yelling. Okay. Uh, who's like a wannabe. Com- you know, one of these open micers that for years they go to every single open mic and they're garbage. And then they go, I'm a comedian. Yeah, professional open micers. Yeah, professional open micers. It's one of them. And everything she writes is in all caps. She's a fucking lunatic. Okay. I, so I, I have a big pet peeve with the all caps thing, bro. I hate it. All the Can't time. Wait, but, but what did he say? What Because when I read it, it's like this. What yeah, are you yeah, doing? Exactly. Like, yeah. really and it's, it's so. bad because they're winning when we do it like that. You know, like technically I can just read it normally, but no, you have to make my brain scream at myself yeah. because you fucking you wrote it like that. Oh, you make my brain scream? Laugh. I'm like, why are you <laughs> yelling? So what did Berg? What did Aaron Berg do? I don't even know the Doesn't joke. A fuck, but he told him to go fuck himself. I don't even know the joke, but okay. he, uh, he three women. I think it was it was a race. It was a race thing, right? Yeah. And uh, black, black, all, black all, of course, all a black women. woman stood up and fucking started yelling at him. Oh no! I would, oh, say, it was, I would say it was a white woman. I didn't see. I thought it was a white woman. Yeah, it's usually white women. I think she was mixed. Oh, I thought it was white women. But either way, I don't care what it in was. In the head, it's not really. It's just, it's just in, uh, like, that's what you're going to see. You're going to see, especially if you're going to see Aaron Berg. Yeah. Like, these are the jokes you're going, it always puzzled me. It always, it's like, uh, so it's there's certain stuff wanna, I don't they like. They want to be offended. I'll give you an example. There's certain stuff that I'm not comfortable watching, like movies where, like, kids die or kids are getting molested, shit like that. It's not for me. Me, it's like, it's too weird, right? Top 10 weird. But, but I'll, I'll tell you something. <laughs> Uh, like Kevin Bacon likes to play a pedophile in every fucking movie apparently sleepers there's, yeah there's all these movies about kids getting molested so I personally I just don't watch them because I know meats can make me feel weird I don't like seeing like vulnerable children getting it's not for right. me but I don't go pick it and say this shouldn't be allowed I don't if you if you can stand it and, yeah. and you you could separate and watch the movie and enjoy the it. story or jerk off <laughs> um, you know what I mean oh, no, I was just saying good for you that's the entertainment that you could get into it me because I know it bothers me I won't well, or if animals are dying if they're getting like dogs are getting murdered okay. I, I, I have nothing against you watching it but I know me I'm like I'll avoid that or, just because I know for me I don't like it so you, but know, I don't, you never watched Cannibal Holocaust then I don't know what that is. Okay. <laughs> what about but Ace Ventura Part Two when the raccoon uh, when he's holding the yeah. hand by crying in the theaters? Yeah, yeah. So, for example, Ace Ventura Part Two. So that scene, I'll try to avoid it or I'll, you know, like, no, no, but but for real. But really? I'm never. Yeah, yeah. I'll never because I don't like seeing animals die. But I'm never. You need to die. It's a movie. I, no, 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 but, but, but you're supposed to suspend disbelief. You're supposed to get into the film. I'm just saying. I have no issues with it existing. Of course Cause, not. Because other people are like like you. They're like, bro, it's just a fucking movie. Who gives a shit? Which is how you should be. Because that's how I am most of the time. So it's fine. I don't give a fuck. I won't watch but something that bothers you. just don't want your brain to go there. So yeah, but don't... I'm not going to tell you, you shot him on your fucking movie. Yeah. That's so stupid. Oh, right, there he is. Yeah. Uh, put it full screen. Yeah, hold on. Let's watch the homie. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Un momento, por favor, señor. Okay, you're taking time, right? You're taking time. You're taking time. Es una Taco Bell. This is okay. what, the joke? It's already wow. mean. Let's go. Not that close to this guy. I feel like if I pull it out, it's going to be a whole sex Fuck you, you racist ass bitch. Wow. That's a black girl. Fuck that does sound ass. like an average <laughs> Jewish lady. <laughs> right, what? Yeah, go. so What's that? I, I, wonder what he, I wonder what he said. I, see, these are the jokes that I want to really? hear. I would feel like 98% of the audience really likes this humor. But it's, uh, uh, yeah, hundred percent. It's okay. It's alright. Good night, Karen. Bye, Good night, Karen. Fucking Aaron, Aaron, bro. There you go. Bye, Karen. Said Aaron. Aaron said bye, Karen. <laughs> bye, Karen. That's a black woman. Everybody else is smart. You're so smart that you have to leave. Yeah, even um. Don't show me the uh, milk, your asshole. Oh yeah, she is white. Yeah. No, no, but the first girl that left, oh. we, we, you heard her voice. Jewish, definitely. No, come on. <laughs> Indonesian. It, it happened to Mark Norman recently, too. I saw. Uh, oh, really? She, you're promoting prostitution. He's like, what do you mean? I always pay. <laughs> and then she finally what do you mean, leaves. Are you promotting prostitution? Because he told a joke about like sex trafficking or something. Uh, but promoting joke. prostitution? Pro- yeah. Prostitutes promote themselves. He's like, you know what's crazy? You think, think you're the good guy. Yeah. You think you're the good guy. And then she, she finally leaves and he goes, should have never fucked her. <laughs> <laughs> She's incredible. amazing. But then on the way on the way here, I was talking about. Um, I found this video of this this guy doing stand up, random dude, and uh, he makes a joke, and a bunch of a bunch of guys in the audience get offended, and uh, they're like, "Yo, you want to get fucking stabbed after the show?" And he's like, "No, not really. You know, I would prefer not getting stabbed." And then the guy's like, "You scared?" And he's like, "Yeah." A little bit. You kind of just threatened the oh, fucking stabbing. Oh, I saw that guy. Me. Yeah, and then some guy rushes the you stage. He rushes yeah. the stage because he said he snitched in prison. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Like, yeah, maybe dude, you got to be afraid of catching beatings on stage. No, that's what uh, fucking I'll kick someone in the head, bro. You ever been uh, uh, what's threatened with violence? Not threatened, but let's say you, you ever had anything like that happen ever? Yeah, yeah, but never uh, vi- like no one has the balls. Never the threat of violence. I'm a giant, bro. Yeah. That's that's the thing. Yeah, but you're a gentle giant. Yeah, well, unless it comes down to uh, uh, then <laughs> the uh, smacking hose. See, yeah, then you're gonna see a park X giant. <laughs> but normally it doesn't come down. The good thing, this is why, like. Wow, he's, like the, the he's the, the jolly the, Greek giant. The jolly Greek giant. The good thing about building your own fan base with the internet is the majority of the crowd a lot of times, if you're putting on a show and they know yeah, you're there. They'll be on uh, your side, right? They know you're human. Th- no one's going to be shocked. Well, that's it. But if I do it on regular nights and they don't know, maybe I'll get someone's like, oh, that's too much for me. But I haven't had violence. or Because I also don't like, like I don't pick on people. Like I don't uh, want to make you feel bad. I want you to laugh. So even if I'm making fun of you, I want it to be situation where we can laugh together. I'm never gonna be like you have Down syndrome. Fuck your kids. Or it's never that. Okay. I'm not aggressive. Okay. It's more like we fuck. Like <laughs> he says, a garbage man. I could talk about how he smells. You know what I'm saying? Like it'll be something. Like I'll fuck with him, but he can laugh too. Okay. It's never gonna be like uh, I don't know. I raped your kids. It's never gonna be anything crazy. Okay. Because I want I want you to have fun. Right, like the I whole point is your kids. Yeah, the whole point is I want you to leave there being like, "Yo, I had a great time." Like, yeah, we don't want to have yeah, fun. Not, not I'm not questioning your life choices. But, yeah, I'm not gonna question your life. Your wife's a whore. I but fucked yeah. her. Like, you're not gonna. That's <laughs> crazy, motherfucker. Yeah, yeah that's great. That's you not could. comedy. That's crazy. Yeah, but Schultz does that. No, Schultz goes for the comedy. He'll yeah. fuck with people. It, I mean, it's hilarious. Fu- look, look, I fuck with people. I might like now. Everything I'm saying is too green. I'm way harder than what I'm saying. Okay. But, I get you on board and we're having fun with it. Of course. Well, I mean, it's, it's if obviously... If I see it's going it's too much... It's not an attack. Yeah, like, if I see maybe wow. that was too much of them, you know, I'll tweak, I'll try to bring them yes, back in. But I'm not going to... Yeah, I'm not going to fuck this person. No. Fuck you, get the fuck out of No, unless you're aggressive. That's yeah. a different story. But yes. if you're... No, always I, in the vein of calm. Like, he, his, at one point he said, you look like uh, Val Kilmer drowned in a bathtub. Yeah, I've say you know? sh- I say shit like that. Exactly. But, but people laugh. You yes. get it? Like, the person's laughing with me. I'm yeah. not going to surprise them with something hard. Like No, uh, nothing... Uh, like, what are, you, what are you here? Oh, you know, my mom died last week, so I just want to get my mind off. I it. fucked Good. her. Yeah, fuck that whore. Like, I'm not going to do that, because <laughs> no. you lose. Somebody's going to laugh, because it's so crazy. But then you made the rest of the crowd feel awkward. That person, yeah, that I just, won't You'll do. have us two laughing, and yeah. everybody offended everybody else. <laughs> But people who like don't go do that to, sometimes. People who don't go to comedy shows think that's what I do. People who don't come see me think that oh he's there, he's probably saying vulgar things and he's it's not true. First of all, I have more women than men fans. Yeah, so that's, clearly that's nuts, eh? Yeah, they're more mature, so they wouldn't come to my shows if I was a mental case. But then it's it's mostly women get good like having these outbursts at comedy shows. There's a lot of women out there is what you're saying. I feel you. Yeah. We're like a honey honeybee colony. <laughs> no, it's uh it's just a, it's just you see more women. Because um, they they outwardly like yell and stuff, so they videotape more. Guys, when they do something, they get like physical. Like what, what yeah, you they describing? beat you up in the alley afterwards. When yeah, the, exactly. The cameras so the cameras they have the conversation on, yeah. in their head first, and then yeah, they, yeah. then they act right. That's that's all it is. But it, everybody can get offended, men, women. It's just sometimes you get offended at stuff that you shouldn't. Like if of you don't not. like a joke, like, you shouldn't talk about animals dying. It's like no. Just you should shut the fuck up. You shouldn't yell out during a comedy show if you don't like the bit. Yeah, yeah. leave. Shut the fuck up. The next joke might be for you. Or yeah. leave. Or leave if yeah if it bothers you. You're gonna ruin everyone else's night. Yeah. That's like me being in a theater, getting up and saying this fucking movie sucks. Yeah. It's like oh, for example, Which what is, you said about Ace Ventura. I'm not gonna leave. I, Ace Ventura too, right? I saw in the theaters like oh, you know, I was a kid though. But it would have been like me going to all the other showings and be like, no watch this, no watch yeah, yeah. this. Like, Animal no. cruelty, Peter. Yeah, you with can't signs tell me what to watch. Yeah, they're the worst, yeah. eh? Yeah. yeah. Also, laughing. What I hate about people getting mad at comedy. You cannot control. It's it's natural what you find funny. It's just instinct. Yeah. You cannot tell someone that's not fu- But if I'm laughing, it's I, funny to me. I, I can't control it. I always say this, bro. What makes, what's the difference between something that's funny and something that's not funny? What's the difference? Depends on the person. It's just people laughing. That's the it difference. Has to make that's one, exactly it. It has it's, to make one person laugh. Person yeah. laughing. Yeah, that's it. That's one all it is. person laugh. That is one funny. Person laughs. Funny like, to them. Like you take it, you take, you say a joke about like beating your wife over here, probably wouldn't do it. You go tell that joke in Iran. <laughs> it kills. <laughs> I, 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 you know? <laughs> you give me a good one right now. I'll fucking laugh. laugh right Any here. good joke, yeah, I'll suspend disbelief and laugh at it. Like if it's a good joke, you know what I mean. What about this one? I, 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 I came up, came up with it yesterday. You hear the one about the dyslexic uh, Chinese kid? No, he ate his dog for homework. It's not the worst <laughs> joke ever. It's not the worst joke ever. The problem with that joke is, is just that the trope has been said so much. You know the what, what I mean? The trope. The trope. What's the Chinese, trope? Pe- the Chinese people eating dogs? Oh. But it's funny. But it's it's just because the trope's been done. It would be the same thing as saying like um, 
like uh, you heard the thing about these Jews, bro. They could like they control the media. I don't know, like something the like, yeah, like yeah. The, trope, the weather, bro. And the yeah, yeah. Actually, the, that would be funny. Man. <laughs> like, it's fucking snowing on Friday, bro. Fuck. These fucking, fucking Jews, Jews. bro. Because <laughs> the weather one is lesser is lesser used. It's lesser used and it's funnier too because it's so ludicrous. Okay, you well, yeah. But it is. But I get the joke. And I, I, I appreciate it. I, I had to write that one down yesterday. I was falling asleep and I had to pick up my phone and just then write it down. Uh, so uh, how's the controlling the weather going for you? <laughs> you know what? It's going really well, actually. I'm getting paid as we speak because I'm doing snow this winter and it hasn't snowed yet. So Wait, so you do snow removal? Snow removal. If right now there's no snow, you still get paid? Still getting paid, baby. Wow. This is the government? No, it's no. my boy. It's not the awesome. government that I work for. But Friday, you're fucked. Uh, apparently, apparently, that's what they say. They say it's either going to be the, the the worst snowstorm or the not so baddest snowstorm <laughs> yeah, so that we've coming. seen so far. It's all a matter of what the temperature is. Is it right. going to be rain, rain or snow? Rain or freezing rain and then snow, which is the worst. All ice everywhere. Yeah. Oh, dude, I, covered I, by snow. I've done that job and like it is. It sucks. I it's, wasn't supposed to do worse. it this year. You it's, hate working. I mean, yeah. Who loves it? But yeah. who like that? The, what sucks about that <laughs> is is the Unknowingness is a terrible thing. Like that's not, the worst part about like it. Like you don't know not you knowing when it's gonna. You snow. can't do anything if it's Friday night. You can't go out and drink because you, you may have to wow. fucking go shovel. Wait, you can't. Or you can look at the weather channel. Yeah, but yeah, still, but they don't who, fucking know. Who, who the fuck? No, but so, like if it says hundred percent no snow, yeah. or like, you know, all right, I'm gonna go grab a drink. Ish. If it says 50-50 you're like, I gotta stay home. Yeah. Yeah. We're having a house party. The worst though is what time it starts snowing. So like if I'm doing a gig, like I'm DJing at a bar, you gotta leave. No, I'll never leave. You're like Superman. Oh, wait. You yeah. look outside like I, I put on my toque and yeah. I, I change it. I it's snowing. Uh, I'm out Superman. of here. And no one recognizes me. Yeah. Even though I just changed one minor detail <laughs> yeah. about myself. You put your toque on now. No one will know. <laughs> the giant yarmulke. Yeah. Basically, that's what it is. When is uh, Hanukkah? When is Hanukkah, Hanukkah coming this year? up? Actually, when is it? This has got to be soon. It's next no? week. Yeah, Chanukah. Chanukah. Festival of the Lights. It's always yeah. before. Eight crazy nights. It's always before. Mm. It's never it's in January. No, it's always before Christmas. Yeah, but sometimes it like bleeds in, no? Yeah. Well, what really bleeds in is Christmas Day, they'll eat Chinese food. <laughs> <laughs> That's what the Jews do on Christmas Day. Really? No. Around here? Uh, New the York. Shmata, the shmata. Uh, in New York mostly. Here too, I think they go for Chinese on Christmas Day because everything else is closed. And they're not oh, celebrating. Like in uh, the night before there, they always go for Chinese. So they do. Yeah. Yeah. Little... Uh, Little well, knowledge for you. Lesser, lesser known fact. Lesser known fact. The Jews love fact. that general town. Yeah. What, what, what's your? You like Chinese? Anyway, who doesn't like Chinese food? Uh, well, well, the they, Japanese maybe. Yeah. <laughs> well, you're talking about Chinese food, Americanized Chinese food. Well, yeah. Cause Cause I never had Chinese food in China. No, that's that's it. It. Well, our friend Justin tells us what we got here is nothing close to what they got. That's a good thing. We don't have dog here, right? Yes. To bring it back? Well, we don't have a lot of the shit that they eat. That they, they'll eat any animal that Yeah, that's exists. why I'd rather... Like, I'm comfortable with the animals I could eat. Like, I'm comfortable eating, like, pork, lamb. Yeah. Occasional pigeon. Uh, but I don't want to eat, like, rats and shit. No. Dogs. What about rabbit? Eat, yeah, rabbit. I have eaten rabbit because I'm Greek. Rabbit's delicious. I don't like the taste of rabbit. Really? It's gamey I, for me. I don't I like gamey it. meats. Okay. I love rabbit. You don't like deer? You don't like... No, uh, I don't like gamey meats. Yeah, so any of that stuff, that's... It just, the taste doesn't work for me. What about crocodile? You read crocodile? I've never eaten crocodile. Does, tastes what like does it taste like? Tastes like chicken. You say that about anything. I don't think that's true. It, 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 unless it, you it, put the it. same thing on chicken. It kind of it kind of well, is, because it, it was like popcorn. So it was popcorn alligator. Uh-huh. Like uh-huh. battered and deep fried. But it fried, is, though. Like it's, very, it's a very neutral flavor. Where'd you uh, find a gator? Uh, I went to um, uh, a hunter's party. Oh, sure. I, I wrestled so one. They had <laughs> wrestled, <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. I they fucked had, it. Yeah. <laughs> like those I four guys in from India. the inside. <laughs> I don't yeah, but I had uh, I had fucking like bison brisket. I had shark. I want to uh, try bison turtle soup. Bison. I delicious. had bison once and I liked it. Shark but it is, is really gamey good. though as well. Yeah, but I had it. It was like um, a stew. No, no, no. What the fuck did they do with it? It was very thin cut. They had done some. I have had bison once and I liked oh, it. Oh, like bison uh, like carpaccio. Um, yeah, fat like, on like it carpaccio. Shit. I don't know. I liked it. What else did I have? There was uh, seal meat. Is that I feel weird. Black as the aces, like black as your laptop. Seal, seal meat. Dude, seals seal are meat, dogs, yeah. dogs that swim, bro. I don't, I They're, can't yeah. eat them. Yeah, not that good. I wouldn't eat but the dogs. But dogs can swim. <laughs> like underwater. Like the, the, yeah. Yeah. I wouldn't eat a dog or a seal. So it must be very popular Kangaroo? in China again. I don't want to eat a horse either. Horse is good. Really? I had horse prosciutto, high in iron. I can't eat horse. Like it feels My weird. My friend to Bob Sakamano eats horse all the time. All the time, yeah. <laughs> I can't eat. Uh, what was the other animal you just said? Kangaroo. kangaroo. I would never eat a kangaroo. Kangaroo. Really? They're too, bro. They're too human. 
They stand on two legs. They have a pouch. They they like boxing. Oh, humans don't have pouches. Yeah. They're too human. What are you talking about? You literally have a pouch. In, don't you have a pouch in your shirt? Shut, yeah. Shut up. Plus, you have silverback gorilla. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, gorilla. I can't eat. I can't eat monkeys or apes. That's too weird. Yeah, it's I, too I don't think I would ever eat uh, a monkey or an ape. I would definitely that's, try it. That's I will borderline try cannibalism. Yeah, yeah, yeah I don't I like don't? it. We're the same, bro. Yeah. I, I will try anything, bro. Like, there's all kinds of crazy shows on YouTube where they get they go into the fucking. What about human? The ultimate, Yo, the ultimate game. Yeah. I would, you're gonna tell me you wouldn't try human? I would never try human. I think you have to be crazy not to try human. <laughs> well, we I think uh, <laughs> I think that pop culture, science, and general consensus would say the opposite. Uh, I think uh, Army Hammer would be on board with you're that. Gonna, oh, yeah, you're yeah. going to tell me there's <laughs> well, ethically sourced human right in front of you. Well, look, 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 okay. look. How do you ethically source it a human? Matter. Well, let's say we get to that point. Okay. okay. Or someone agrees? Yeah. Which, no, which was, by the way, uh, happens... This is this is what they eat in uh, Asia, by the way. Yeah, they eat all Geo kinds duck. of weird Pacific shit. Pacific like geoduck. Yeah, it's a big yeah. clam. It's that, a is that, that's old. a Pokemon geoduck. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know what? I can no longer eat anymore. Uh, the crustaceans, like uh, shrimp. Why? Because uh, I saw them alive. How they live? Yeah. Or the big shit. roaches. They're they vacuum cleaners. Yeah, they clean up the disgustingness off the ocean. That's the best part. That's what makes delicious. it all the flavor, man. Which begs the question: How delicious are cockroaches? Yeah. <laughs> well, having eaten a couple. Um, <laughs> have you guys seen how lobsters are not as delicious as you think? What? Have you guys seen how lobsters swim? No. No, I don't want to get the video Backwards. taken down. But wait, YouTube is being a bitch to me lately. They copyright uh, everything. Oh, really? Every oh time. yeah, yeah. You you've been going through some shit. You remember? You're getting shadow banned. You're yeah. fucking. You are on a different level there, bro. Yeah, I yeah. noticed it too. There's there's warnings too before. Yeah, yeah. There's yeah. warnings, but like you have the uh, already the age warning, and then there's like an extra warning that yeah. comes on. There will be a warning. will steal your children if you watch this video. Yeah, you know? they're like they're really trying to fuck me <laughs> yeah. hard. It's fucking. It's hilarious. fucking scary, is yeah. what it is. Have you fucking fuck with rumble? 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 Ramadan? Uh, Ramadan? Rumble? <laughs> yet? Oh, uh, I have a channel on Ramadan. I've uploaded a couple of videos. On Ramadan. <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry, on Rumble. Uh, I you don't only know. upload during the day. <laughs> I, I, there's, like, I don't like the interface. It feels cheap, and the uploads take forever. Really? The, the website yeah. feels like it was made in 1995. Yeah, it bugs it's me. like that, a .tk. That, yeah, that bugs me. Like uh, uh, .tk. Crowder's on there. I know Crowder's on there. Um, yeah, we're on there, too. Are we? Yeah. <laughs> but I mean, Bruno put us up. I don't know what the fuck it is. It's just a backup in case something happens. That's yeah. fine. But it's uh, it, it's just it's a backup, but it's also supposed to be less. There's supposed to be less uh, policing, right? Yeah, less, uh, I know. But but can we give credit where credit is due and say that YouTube has the best, like interface? site interface, everything yeah, out there for this stuff? Yeah, but it's been out for stuff? fucking 10, 15, 15 years or whatever. They've had time. But to as I'm saying, I'm, no, no, I'm not. I'm yeah, not yeah. More saying that, the reason why. I'm just saying it's fucking yeah, awesome. Yeah, yeah. It's and and right now too, what they're doing with how making it easy for you to edit shit in the app itself. Like you don't have to even take anything out of for a uh, short. Yeah, for yeah. a short, even for clips, you could do it now. You can add shit, cut shit out. There's a, like a, on your video itself. What do you mean? There's a well, new. You could, you could clip it right from YouTube. To make a short. No, not even shorts. There's even like, I think you can even fuck with the video itself in like, uh, not a short, actually make a clip. I don't think so. I think the clip that you're talking about, you clip it and then you share it and it goes, just to, a short. It goes to the I, main I, video, but that section, it doesn't create a brand new clip video. Yeah, what what Pantel said is ah uh, okay okay okay. <laughs> what Pantel because said when is it, correct. When it what Pantel said is correct. Forty <laughs> points. When, when, he, when, he, when, he, when you do a short, I, when the short makes a new video. A short makes a new video, yeah. Okay. And you should make, from what I know, from what I've been told from the insiders, go with shorts. Shorts are going to be big, oh, and they're going to start monetizing the shorts. shorts in also, uh, the also, new year. I think yeah. the the link brings you directly to the video on YouTube. That's what Bruno said. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Which is you, smart. you make a short from your phone which of that smart. video. Yeah, that's what I've been if doing. People click on it; it'll go to the full video, yeah. so they can watch it. There's a lot of things. Yeah, I think over the holidays I'm gonna lay down one day on my phone and just go pop, pop, pop. Shorts. Pop. That's what I. In that's shorts. what I do. It's yeah. the way. To, it's the way to do it. It's it's fast. It's easy. And you can even schedule them, right? So you don't have to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah scheduling is good. Yeah, I think this winter we're gonna do a second installment of Jofo Jeopardy. Oh, I was on the. I won one. Yeah, you won. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah, did you, you win, win the first one? Yeah, I won, won, yeah. I yeah. tried to lose and yeah. I won. Do you remember? Yes, I yeah, because everyone was in the negatives. <laughs> yeah, I felt bad and I was yeah. like, okay, I'll lose this. And and give I, it to Claudio. You give said. it to Claudio. Give it to Claudio. Yeah, I I somehow, I don't know how he lost. I don't know how I won while trying to lose. Well, it's because you had the least amount of <laughs> negative points. Yeah, so I gave like, the worst so answer perfectly. possible. Yeah. Like it was obvious. You're like, 
oh, this guy's fucking trolling. Yeah, he just threw And the then game. I was like, I got this. And then you're like, well, no, because. And somehow Claudio gave a worse answer. Yeah, you're like, it's impossible because <laughs> they're negative. You yeah. still win. Yeah. yeah. And I was like, oh, that's retarded. You had zero, but you are the winner. Yeah, that's yeah. what happened. I was that's like, exactly oh. what it was. I, oh, yeah, I bet all my points yeah. to yeah. go to zero. <laughs> yeah. But they were so shit, they were in the negative. So they still, oh, yeah, that's what happened. Yeah. Yeah, but we gave him, we, we let him win. And we still yeah, I gave him the prizes. Yeah, I gave him the prizes. Yeah. It was a Bosa gift card. You ever go to Bosa? I don't know what that is. It's a it's on Wellington in Verdun. It's a sandwich shop. It might be might be one of the best sandwiches. I like a good sandwich. Oh, dude, it's great! It's it's, great. it's one of our buddies that uh, that runs the place. His pimp and his parents. It's fucking phenomenal. What's good to eat around here? We're gonna go get a bite after. Well, if yeah, you the wanna, grub club. If you want to hang out with the Wops, Gentile is down the street. That's true. Gentile is right hang there. out with the paisans. And yeah, they, they're very. Oh, what is that? Is that a sandwich? Like a sandwich? Like a, I don't want to sit down and like. You don't uh, have to sit. You could take it to go, but sandwiches. Uh, we're thinking more on the Jew on the Jewy side. side. Jewy side. What do we have? Jew. We don't have anything Jewy here, like a deli. Oh, and I no? miss a good deli, like a good smoked meat. That's that's what we were thinking. He said Lester's. It's where's Lester's from here? It's far. You have to go I, down I don't down. Actually, um, Oh, you just said it like know, that. I don't know that business. Yeah. Okay. Oh no! Le oh yeah, he hates Lester's. I Why? Because you had you I did know. a you did a short to uh, uh, the reason I even said that because I watched you. Yeah, he did a food review on them. Yeah. So here's what happened. I'll tell you. He did a food review on them. They came after him. He fucking, <laughs> he gave them like a 10 on 10. Or yeah, he food. did good. They said. Then he's like, yo, I'm going to approach them because they're a local business. And he, we all, we're trying our best. I know right now we have like Manscaped and stuff, but we're trying our best to get, I want local business. I want to promote local yeah, business. Yeah, Lester's cool, would yeah. be huge too, like, right? Lester's, it's a great idea. Montreal. We fucking. like it. So he goes to approach them. And then he calls me. He's like, bro, I'm an idiot. Bro, they're Jews. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like. <laughs> Go fuck yourself. Yeah. Break and, I, yeah. Yeah. and I was like, yeah, bro. It's a fucking deli. <laughs> and he's like, no, nah, bro, this is disgusting. I'm never eating here again. And we're, no, no, that's not what happened. He went to speak with him. He went, that would have been amazing. He went to speak with him. And, they, they, foreskins and they didn't really understand Pocket. And they were asking him these dumb things. And he was giving them like a crazy deal, like ch cheaper than what Man's like the best deal. And they were like, no, we don't. Nah, nah, nah. We, we pay this much. And we're on every newspaper or every like flyer. Or yeah, like, no one watches. They were going to print up They us in like, the bank book. Like, Who the fuck? Your <laughs> so he got really mad that they were so stupid that they're like, we're going to spend our marketing budget on pamphlets. That everyone's gonna throw out yeah, instead the of the Jews internet where everyone's cheap? on. No way. So, but it wasn't even cheap. It was just bad business. Yeah, because you're not gonna that's get. Rare. That's yeah, rare. Yeah, that's why. So he couldn't. <laughs> he got so mad. He's like, "Fuck! I hate these people. They give me the run around. No, no, no. These people. These people being Whoa. the Lester's people. No, 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 no the Lester's people. <laughs> the Lester's people. No, it Poseidon. Was just, it, it was so for the dumb. record. So everybody knows. I just thought it would have been funny to say that. But Poseidon, big fan of delis and Jews. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Uh, but it was just so dumb the responses they gave me. You're that on the I was right like, path. I can't have them make my food. I can't eat. Like, yeah, I he was very angry. He goes, you know, bro, these people are fucking stupid. And then I go, no, it's just that who's ever in charge of marketing is, I was trying to explain, is old. And exactly. back in the day, yeah. the newspaper, pamphlets, That's and radio was. was you're hitting the big time. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Everyone now. That was the holy triumphant. <laughs> no one's looking. Hey, do I have any? Every time I see pamphlets in my mail, I don't even look at what they are. Oh, I, know. I only take my mail, the rest I throw in the garbage. I don't look at any mail. Oh. Anytime I see ads, is. When I'm on the internet, I'll see ads on YouTube, on Instagram, because that's where I'm at. That's well, yeah. where I spend my time. So that's why I see the ads There's or podcasts. The future. So many stuff, so many companies that I buy from, from coffee, this and that, I found from uh, podcast ads. Yeah. I'm like, oh, really? They promote my buddy's thing? Okay, let me check them out. And they're good. The so Sherry's the, Berries. Especially, uh, <laughs> especially when they're local, though. I find that's oh, That's what I want. So that's what I'm looking for. I want to, uh, because uh, I have the American, like, like, Anyways, I'm not. I like my sponsors, but I'm just saying I have like a lot of American sponsors, and I always thought it would be cool to do local shit. Yeah, because yeah. then you could even do events. Let's say I have a comedy night, and they're like, you know what? That's it. We want to sponsor your comedy night. Bring for a couple sure. fucking yeah, briskets yeah. over. Fucking yeah, yeah. Oh, take yeah. take this fucking money plus take these uh, like barrels of popcorn or coffee, or whatever they want to sell. Of Brian, give it out, make it a thing, yeah. like Chick Fil A in Atlanta. It, it makes more sense. <laughs> it's local. Then you could go if it's a bar. Where you, so I want the local shit. But uh, right now, f a bit of local, like Sammy's advertising, which he's a local product. He's uh, advertising on the French cast this month for his shows coming up, okay. uh, which is local. So I'm very happy. And he's yeah, my boy. for sure. That's how I want local. So he went out looking for local and he, ever since the Lester's thing, he stopped because he got, he got, he, you understand, he was fucking pissed at how dumb he, he couldn't irate. believe it. He was irate. He couldn't believe it. He's trying to tell him, he's like, bro, nobody... Uh, listens to the regular yeah, radio. Have you, uh, like, like, have you walked inside there? It's, yeah, it's like going it's, to Walensky's and telling time, them about podcasts. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Actually, exactly. <laughs> Walensky's. Have you been to Walensky's? I've never been no. to Walensky's. I'm just What's saying. What's Walensky's? It sounds familiar. It is the most overrated <laughs> bullshit fucking place in my... 
They make bologna sandwiches, yeah. bro. Uh, and it was it's big. Anthony Bourdain was there. You, yeah, you could sit in the same seat he you, sat in. You, you it's walk a lot of in, messes. it's fucking, uh, it's six seats on a fucking bench. The, the, it's, sit everything the hasn't been changed in. since 1920s. That's what it is. They make their coke in the stupid fucking since machine. 1932. That's it. And they're big on the the what's it called the beef bologna. That's what they give you. Those let's things. See this. Let's see. Like it's okay. It's good. Oh, yeah, it's a regular deli sandwich. It's like a little good. Long. But I mean, like the whole fucking thing. Okay, get out of here. Yeah. What it's, else is overrated? You, you want to go to Winsky's after? Uh, maybe. <laughs> you want to go? <laughs> maybe. Is it far? Uh, it's downtown. It's downtown. It's near the uh, the five dollar gnocchis there. Oh, it's that, uh, close, yeah. to, uh, close to Park Avenue. You know. It's it's across from uh, St. Viator's, I think. Oh, okay, okay. That's not downtown. Well, oh, I've seen wow. this fucking place, bro. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, what's it called? Landmark. It's a landmark. Yeah, yeah it's a landmark. I it's on an English in. muffin. It's on no. It's on that some Jew cornbread like the fucking cornmeal on top. Uh, it's, it's like a, you're it's a, the most. A it's muffin. a sweet bread. This is you, you're, you're the most anti-Semitic <laughs> Semite I've ever met in my goddamn life. I'm a self-loathing. Bro. Stop, <laughs> stop hating. I'm half the Jewish. The delicatessen of no, the Jewish I'm people. I'm half Jewish, half anti-Semitic. That's what I always say. That's funny. It looks delicious though, as a, like a street meat. Yes. Yeah. Love me yeah, some but street it's like, meat. It's one of those places where like alley meat is the best. Oh, God. God damn. That's what happens in China. So Mike, Mike, when he was in China, this is not a joke. Mike, when he was in China, a lot of funny stuff happened. But one thing that happened to him was he was at, there was a guy cooking outside and shit, and uh, he asked the hotel guy, "Yo, is this guy safe to eat from?" And the guy's like, "Yeah, it's great. He doesn't even use the gutter oil; like he uses real oil." What? Gutter oil. Yeah. Because yeah, all the other places it they just use, runs down. It just runs down. It's gutter. They, that's what they cook with. Yeah. Gutter oil. So uh, let's explain again. Do you know what a gutter is? <laughs> okay. You know what oil is? Doing this again. What's gutter oil? Chinese gutter oil. It's not sewer oil. Yeah. <laughs> Same difference. Same. They're gutter, gutter oil. oil. Yeah, I'm not. What do you think? I'm bullshitting you, bro. I don't understand. It's, I, it's I just this, don't understand what you're like, saying. Let's say there's so, a bunch of restaurants in a, in a row. They, the oil that they used falls down. It's leaking in the street. Peop, the other restaurants pick it up and they cook it. and they Get out. Yeah. yeah, dude. Gutter oil. Teamwork. I knew about this before he mentioned it for the first time in my life. <laughs> oh, my God, man. Yeah. yeah. I want some of that, dude. But I want to go to the last restaurant on the street. <laughs> it's like the human centipede of fucking. Uh, you it's, get like human centipede it, it's oil. It's like the last guy in the gangbang. It's better than latrine oil. <laughs> that is just. Ah. I mean, I knew they were dirty, those fuckers, but toilet Jesus off. Jesus Christ! Yeah, this is next level nastiness. That is got a nice got that, a nice bidet shit broth. Like that is why is why street carts and fucking shit like that is not allowed in Canada. It's very hard to uh, to what's it called to police to. Yeah. Uh, the fuck am I? What word am I looking control for? The the control the Chinese. Control. Yeah, it's <laughs> difficult. Police. Uh, no, but we have food cars here. Yeah, we do. Yeah, we've got. No, we don't. We don't. We're not allowed to have a hot dog stand downtown. Not well, a hot, no, no, no. There's, 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 food, there's food trucks. Cars. There's food trucks. Food, food trucks. trucks. Yeah, yeah, but you can't have a cart downtown. No, selling, you're right. You're selling, selling, right. Selling, you can only have ice cream carts. And to yeah. have a truck, you have to have a building. You have yeah, to have yeah. a restaurant first. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, in in Toronto you can, there's like nuts and shit and uh, hot dogs on the street though. Right in Toronto, fifty bucks you could kill a person. Oh yeah, <laughs> it's the it's the dark web and of that's Canada. My offer. Yeah, <laughs> you got fifty bucks. Are they all the same price? Like you is it Jew, bucks, is it, is it Jew the same price as you have fifty uh, bucks and an enemy in Toronto, bro? You <laughs> let me know. Uh, no, fifty bucks goes to, a long way. Though. Toronto's a bit more Americanized. They do more stuff that you see. Like New York has street cards everywhere. Yeah. yeah, of course. I heard BC has crazy shit. Crackheads. Well, yes, but also uh, my buddy went there because they're so close to the other side. They have all kinds of like Asian delicacies. Oh, for sure, yeah, it's like super, uh, Kobe are you beef sliders. Close to China is that what you're and saying? And Japan, yeah. it's close to Asia. He means like close to a lot closer to Asia than we are. Really? Yeah, that's a fact. Well, yeah, they're on the opposite side of the Pacific. They like almost touch. Yeah, yeah, but it's still across the fucking ocean. Yeah, no, but it's, it's closer than us. It's closer than us. Because there they go direct. across the ocean, across the whole landmass. Yeah, I guess. Huge uh, Chinese business, Japanese yeah. business, uh, a lot of Asian influence. That's why if you go a country the size of Canada or the States, that's why it's fun if you go visit from one side to the other. Yeah. You think, oh, I know what I'm going to get. Yeah. But because of the immigration, yeah. you get different flavors everywhere Pockets, you go. Enclaves. Pockets, enclaves. I still think, bro, it's, it's, people are going to sound like I'm a fucking asshole, but I still feel it's true. Montreal, and I've been Whoa. around North America. Montreal? Mon <laughs> Montreal. Wait, what did you hear? <laughs> you said that. It was you did emphasize that. Montreal. <laughs> Montreal. Yep. Yeah. yeah. You said Montreal. <laughs> Montreal. Mo Mo Montreal. Montreal. Montreal, I still think, has the best quality of food in the restaurants. 
that I've had in North America overall. So maybe you'll have a great restaurant, let's say in Texas, or a great restaurant in LA. But overall, the options and the good food yeah. that you have here, yeah. I've never seen, even in New York, where it doesn't, and we've been to a lot of places in New York, it doesn't come close. You have whatever the fuck you want here, but the best of it. Okay. You want Italian, you probably get crazy Italian. Sure. You want Vietnamese, you get crazy Vietnamese, Mongolian Huge. barbecue. I just want uh, the Mongolian. Portuguese, bro, I love Portuguese chicken. I like Portuguese I like chicken. Portuguese period. period. Um, Indian. Bro, cool, cool, cool. you like like the the, oh, the Indian right now is booing. Bro, the British love Indian food. Yeah, <laughs> bro, they love Indian food. Come here, you have all that, and you could try Portuguese, Greek, whatever the fuck you want. Jewish, the delis. Yeah, on bro, the same the, street, on the same street, on the same street. It's true, though. It's true. It's amazing, it's and I true. love I love food, obviously. Yeah, but we all do. But this place has it. I feel like this place you mm -hmm. get a flavor of everything. So, but if you go across the country, you're gonna get shit that you don't get anywhere else. Like if you go to uh, BC, S specialty shit, you can get specialty Asian yeah. stuff that. The Asian restaurants here wish they had, but because right. of the distance, they can't, you know? Um, so that's what's fun about countries of this size is that you can do like a road trip yeah. and have all these different... It's not all the fast... Forget the forget Tim Horns and forget the stuff no, they get yeah, everywhere. Forget that's, people that say, oh, they don't have Arby's here. No, no, fucking, those are the yeah, standards. Yeah, yeah. Like the, the fast... Yeah. Forget that. Go to the local shit that feels better. You're going to get crazy food. Yeah, well, there's a reason why all the, all the critics that come, uh, they have great things to say. Like, who's been... Anthony Bourdain has been here fucking... He killed himself, though. Yeah, yeah, because he he couldn't come he, to Montreal drink COVID. He ate all the that. food. He's like, what else is there to taste? <laughs> yeah, He's like, the Harold Thompson of fucking food, the yeah. guy. Yeah, <laughs> he was like, I know too much about Hillary. He human. Those are actually Hunter S. Thompson esque uh, sunglasses. You like them? Huh? A little they're, bit. They're very nice, actually. Yeah, I got them in our last trip to New York. Oh yeah, yeah. was that for the? Uh, for the PFL uh, fight. Yeah, that looked fucking cool, that man. Was yeah, but that, that looked awesome. That guy's like, he, he's destroying everybody, your boy there. Uh, yeah, well, he's undefeated for two years. Yeah, yeah. Like, are they going to give him a fucking, now, give him a fucking uh, uh, what's it called, a uh, challenge? The guy, he's smack, he makes them look like little children, the guy. <laughs> he fucking, he's a beast. He's very good. Yeah, yeah he's, he's a, a beast. Yeah. But now, but it's like, what is the difference between like where he is in the UFC now? Like, how does he get into that next level? He was in the UFC before. He was? Oh, he yeah. was in the UFC? yeah. Okay, so and we'll now win. the difference is that now he's making money. Okay. Ah, okay. Yeah. yeah. So he made over him. a million dollars for four fights. What? Yeah. And how much did they pay the UFC? In what? In a year? Know, might, yeah, just he did four fights in a few months to make it to the finals, right? Christ. And the finals, he won a million dollars US. Plus, I all saw the, that the check. Yeah, yeah. That so giant he, check. Yeah, I want to get one of those check. giant checks. It's hard to cash at the bank though. You have to find a big bank. <laughs> so it's um. So he he because I was talking. I go, what do you want to do next? He goes, I'm gonna do another season of this because. The, with the amount of matches, yeah, it's tougher because they're in shorter uh, like uh, time frames. However, it goes, you're not like in the UFC, it's like, oh, you might get a 20G here and a 40. It's very hard to build your career. Mm -hmm. But, bro, if you're there and you know that you're the best one and you could win another million, yeah. US, why not? Fuck. Make two, a million a year for two years, why not, bro? And yeah. then invest that properly, you're set. So Especially if, if you're smashing everyone, you're not really taking I put that, that for many, you, by the way, if you want Kleenex, because eh? you probably have a runny fucking head. nose, bro. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm okay today. You're nasty whore. Yeah, if, if you're not taking shots to the brain. You could fucking fight. Uh, yeah, he's all normally unscathed. That's it. Yeah. Like, I remember but, um, Chimaev when he first started. Chimaev, Chimaev showed Chimaev. up that night. He was there. Oh, for real? Yeah. Did he fight anyone? No, no, he was just hanging on the crowd. People okay. were taking pictures of cool dude. There was a lot of UFC guys showed up. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. But he fought. I remember me and Matt Dom used to watch the, the fight island there in Abu Dhabi during COVID. He, would f he fought two weeks in a row. Because the or two two uh, pay per views in a row because the week before or the month before he didn't even get one punch thrown at him. Oh, okay, he was yeah. fine. He was unscathed. No, but that's yeah. how. But Oli, you know, he he trains very hard, and yeah, it was a crazy. It was a crazy moment, bro. It was a fun fun little weekend. That's a crazy sport. Uh, I feel like you have to have some well, I've, mental I've, problem to go into that and w enjoy getting punched in the face. No one enjoys getting punched in the face. George Champier said it. He goes, "My biggest motivator was fear. I don't want to get hit. Everyone has fear. It's just." How much you love the competition. Okay, Some that's people are just crackheads. Some people go there because they're violent. But right. others love the art of it. Like George St. Pierre loved everything around it, you know? Okay. Yeah, him it was, yeah, like you're but, saying, art. It was more yeah. of a, <laughs> I, I want to be the best. Sport, yeah. uh, in a yeah, fucking yeah. thing. It wasn't about, uh, let me knock this guy out. Yeah. Nate Diaz is, just wants to knock people out. Yes. yes. But it's getting hit and not letting it affect you. Oh, that's like, I get punched in the face. I, I wanna, it affects you. I, I want to not there will be do effects. anything for the rest of the day. <laughs> yeah. Is it taking elbows to the fucking temple? Yeah, there's no elbows in uh, in PFL, though. Oh, no? What about knees? Uh, knees, yes. Knees, yes, yeah. Knees, but no elbows. Elbows, I think, elbows is, is like the sharpest part of your, of your elbow, body. Elbow, bro, yeah. elbow, you could... It's insane. I, I was taught how to use my elbows when I was in high school. Throwing uh, bows. For per, yeah, for protection. Good. Uh, well, if you hit a guy in the temple, they're dead. Yeah. You could, you could, the, the guy, it rearranged the entire face. You hit him... 
like let's say you're coming back or like this right in the face, you break all yeah, the teeth go inside, you and destroy they do a guy. spinning elbows yeah, like yeah. back like crazy. And your elbow will never break, right? No. It's like no, yeah. no, no, no. It's, it's one of the toughest powerful. parts in the body. Yeah. Yeah. They're just, they're not allowed. Like uh, I've used my elbows when I had to, and I never felt, uh, it doesn't feel like when you hurt your funny bone by accident. No. no it no. didn't feel like I, I barely felt anything, but bro, destruction. Yeah, 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 yeah. I tried to break a car window with my elbow, and uh, it was it didn't work, but I smashed as hard as I can. Nothing happened to my elbow. No. no. Car windows are stronger than what they appear yeah. on TV. Yeah. 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 There's yeah. pens. I don't know if they still exist, but car windows are way, there used to be these pens. Hit it right in the use. middle. And it would crack it. Yeah. yeah. Also, uh. elbows, um, they have almost, uh, I think, no nerve endings. That's Probably. Why I don't feel oh, that, that makes oh, sense. Oh, that's why. Yeah. 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 But then how come you give a little nick and it, it depends hurts like where it hits. That's like fucker. right in between. Yeah, you like hit the, the right spot yeah. and it starts right vibrating. Here. It's it's uh, right next to the devastating point. Yeah, it's such point. a weird fucking feeling. Yeah. yeah. Under yeah. You know what's been happening to me a lot recently? Mm. And I think it's just because I'm all out of chi. I've been stubbing my foot. <laughs> all out of breath. And, 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 uh, 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 what's it called? A, a, an abnormal amount recently, like in the past month. Which toe? My Both. Like my right toe. I've been... St- I don't know what the fuck it is. You're not focused. Is that what you're, it is? Um, you're, you're... Disoriented. Like, yeah, you're going around a little disoriented. Are you, you hitting your big re- toe? Uh, yeah. I, what are, are, you do you are you down? Are you down? Do you feel toe. down? Like, are you sad? I mean, normal, just as much as normal, just a regular. Because <laughs> if you're not paying attention, you all, and and you just take everything like like distances shit for granted. You normally do all like, uh, No, no, it's true. You've been taking your distance for granted, That's bro. That's what happened. <laughs> <Yeah>. It's true. <laughs> I, I I've hit my little toe. <laughs> Look at him, he's like, I've, I've stubbed my little toe. That's the worst because it's yeah. This, don't take it. Don't take it for granted. Don't bro. take yeah. distance for granted. Or man. balance. That's the greatest piece of advice you're ever gonna get. <laughs> It's just funny though, because you know what happened. It, it happens to people. You stub your toe once in a while. Lost it's your it's happened perception. to me in the last month at least eight times. So what do you want me to tell you, bro? You're a fucking idiot. What do you want me to tell you? Bro? Christ, you gotta like baby proof your apartment. Yeah, yeah. Uh, anyways, Poseidon, uh, say you carry a lot of static with you. Yeah, a lot of he zaps a lot of. Uh, do you? Oh uh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I hate that shit. He drags his feet. He walks like get, a Chinaman. I hate getting electrocuted. <laughs> is that a real? Uh, is that a real? It's a real shock, that eh? Yeah, yeah, 100%. yeah. You never see it when you pull off your uh, your your sweatshirt in the dark, and it goes. I have never seen it, but I, it's cool that you mentioned that. Oh, it's dude, fucked up. The duvet that I have, uh, I don't know. It's like some kind of material, it's all like decorative shit. It's heated. It has like coils running through it. No, no, no. no. And it's uh, <laughs> shorts. And it's shiny. And I guess it, it 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 it's a conductor for electricity. But sometimes I'll fucking do the fucking thing like redoing and, the and bed. And you see a little electric I static. See electric static. And when the lights closed, it's sick. Like, 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 I'm like, oh my god. I'm yeah, gonna, it's crazy. I'm like, this is how I die. <laughs> Did I just I create die. a black hole? <laughs> yeah, I just that gets electrocuted <laughs> making bed. <laughs> yeah, I got, a, I got a black hole in my bed. You ever try a weighted blanket? Yes. It's weird. It is fucking weird. But you it's, had it's, one. No, yeah, you have one. Yeah, yeah. But it's it's like um. It's it's pleasurable, like it, it it's it's a good feeling to have weight on you. Yeah, are we mental patients? And it helps, you sleep. it helps you sleep. I think it's supposed to because it keeps you from like if you're someone who moves around a lot when you sleep. Yeah, it keeps you from doing it because now you have fucking a brick on top of you. Yeah, yeah. But what is is that? Is that what it's made for? Like, what's the what's the use of that? Like, what is somebody who it's gets prescribed sleep the, and relax? People with night terrors. I was sent it as a as a gift. They also have straps. Uh, okay. Stephen Crowder gave me one as a gift. Really? Like Stephen Crowder gave you a weighted blanket <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> to keep you grounded. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> he's great too. He yeah, went off. And, he went off the rails and he came back. Hey, for a while, he was like missing, and then he came back. Uh, he was sick. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, four ways weighted blankets can actually help you. There you go. It's it's, la, la, la. it's like a sand that's in it, eh? It's like um. Okay, so anxiety. she will move less. Oh, that's the wrong. The pressure outside. of weighted blankets puts your uh, autonomic nervous system into rest mode, reducing some of the symptoms of anxiety, such as quickened heart rate or breathing. Oh, that's this, great for you. You do think a, you'd be more anxious when you're uh, can't yeah, move, restricted. When you're, yeah. when you're yeah restricted. It helps well, with ADHD. You're, How you're not restricted. You're it's just it's weight, no. I'm just gonna yeah. wear it around. Sleep disorder. I'm gonna wear it to the bank. It's too heavy. Yeah, you, 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 you wear it like a oh, cape. Helps with autism. What? No chance. I should get one. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna get you and Claudio two blankets. Yes. <laughs> it's my autism you know blanket. Getting, uh, How does it help with autism? Can you go down? That's retarded. Okay. <clears throat> no chance. Doctor Levin, less retarded. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> Doctor, <laughs> <laughs> you bastard. 
Dr. Levinson explained that when someone has autism <laughs> spectrum disorder, uh, social interaction can be hard for them. This can lead to anxiety and stress. Oh, it's the same shit, bro, as the other ah, shit. They have anxiety different and stress. Wording. So, yeah. You think all my autistic oh, friends are just clever stressed? advertising. Anxiety, sleep disorder, AIDS, and uh, autism. Yeah. I don't think it also really helps. Also cold. With those. It helps with the cold. Yeah, too. yeah. try <laughs> to market it like that. Yeah. Stupid people. Yeah. It so you, hypothermia. You use a. There's also electric blankets. Yeah, well, that I would. Yeah, be, I would try. I would never use, and I will never try. Well, I heard I, the fires, right? But yeah, I'm not gonna catch fire. You fuck, or something happens. Uh, I want a microwave blanket that just launches microwaves towards yes, my body. I like it. No, but I would. I would get one of those heated like Under Armour shirts. For the winter? How does that work? It's like a little, uh, there's like a button that, that, it has like little coils. I'm going to set yeah. myself on fire. I'm yeah, never I, I, don't like, I don't I agree. I don't like any Melt of Melt my skin. Yeah. I'll fall asleep, you, wake even up. Those LA gears were a push with the lights, you know? Like, <laughs> remember, do you remember LA gear? Does that still exist? Bro, they still exist. Really? Oh I my God. Find them on the internet. You have to order them and shit. LA like $180. Gear. These basically. They, weren't they like cheap before? Like yeah, when we were they were kids? used to make fun of them, yeah. right? Yeah. Those... Those sucked when you play How to Go Seek in the Dark. Let me tell you. <laughs> but other than that, they were the shit. Bro, f- I remember flashing lights, bro. Yeah. That'd be you, good what about children. what about the pumps, the Reebok pumps? I never had them. I always thought that it didn't. Does it did it really pump up your shoe? Yeah, that, there was powder it, in it. No, it take it, it sucks out the air. Is what it does. So it just it compresses. Titans. Yeah, but it, it doesn't, it doesn't do fuck all. Does does it, fuck all so what yeah. movie is it where he's pumping, 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 and it explodes in his face? Probably scary movie or fucking uh, something it like that. Feels like Jim Carrey. It sounds like a Jim Carrey bit. That yeah. sounds like a Jim Carrey bit. Yeah. Yeah, it's what, these are the coil things? Oh, I won nothing France. France, Morocco. Mm. Ah. Oh, shit. Oh, that's today? Yeah. yeah. Are you uh, Are you following it? I mean, I guess everybody in the yeah, world. Yeah, I'm following it. Uh, but whoever I, uh, wins, the Moroccans should still celebrate. Well, they will. Because well, no. They, whoever they it's France, it's France and Morocco. So whoever wins, the either, Algerians either win. W- yeah. <laughs> There's going to be Algerians. There's going to be Algerians it's parading. Algeria, it's a win yeah, for yeah, Algeria. Win. That's all I know. Smart guys. Yeah. They know Smart the Algerians guys. are one step ahead of everyone else. Yeah. So, yeah, Poseidon. Say it. It's one nothing right now, France. Okay. Uh, do you guys, because this episode is going to come out right after the World Cup ends. Okay. What is your prediction uh, for, the probably World Cup, for the final? I say probably uh, probably France will take it. Yeah? I think you, so. What do you think? I think Argentina is going to do it. Yeah? Poseidon? Care to make let's it interesting? See, uh, let's see who... Uh, France, Argentina, bro. Just pick one. <laughs> Jesus France, fucking Argentina. Christ. Yeah. yeah. Um, Argentina. Okay. I mean... And who's going to come in third? Theoretically, oh, statistically, it should be France. Yeah. But I want I want Argentina. To Everybody win it. wants yeah. Argentina. That, Everybody wants Messi to win, right? Is yeah, that yeah. the whole yeah. thing? No, I, I, heard, I just heard. want the French to be sad. Oh, okay. About Messi, you know, you know, uh, Hasbula. Yeah, the little the, the Lebanese guy? terror group. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> no that's Boko that's Haram, a, isn't that the? That's Hezbollah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Hasbi has that uh, that that disorder there, where his. Uh, it's that little kid you see. The little kid. No, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. So Messi had that when he was a kid, but because he got the medication early enough, he grew up. Oh, yeah. yeah. But he could have been a boy Barcelona. forever. Didn't he could have Bar- been uh, Hasbula. What is it called? Peter Pan syndrome? I'm Peter Pan. Boy. But I think Barcelona like paid for it. Yeah, like, Barcelona they, paid for it. They st- they signed him and then they, like, they, they fucking they like. Steroids. Yeah. What? <laughs> yeah. Stop. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Because he was like destroying. He was like, uh, they knew he was going to be like a prodigy. Yeah. But he was he was three foot six. Yeah. yeah. Like, we got to do something about this midget. Yeah. Dude, Hasbula weighs 40 pounds. <laughs> okay, bro. Don't sexualize everyone. 40 pounds. Um, <laughs> Sexual. <laughs> these hot midgets are coming out now, dude. Okay, oh that's the God. opposite. You fuck. You two he weirdos. Knows what talking about. You two weirdos are saying the opposite of what I said the other day. I had a conversation about how I never see midgets anymore, and then you just said that there's hot midgets coming out. Dude. Yeah, me and Kyle. Check the third. Where's this from? Me and Kyle have been sending each other pictures of hot midgets, <laughs> Look at that. and it's fucking nuts. <laughs> It's, size. it's borderline like freaky pedophile shit. Yeah, right? yeah. No. Yeah. Cause they look like adults. They, to me, it looks like a kid with tits. Look at this. They're adults. Dude. That take away the body and just look at the head. That's to not me, the, the head hands. of hands. Like I can't look at look at her hands. What are you talking about? Imagine how something's big your dick throwing looks me off. Tiny it, hand? Something's throwing me off. It might be that eye. It might be the hands. Because right now that looks like a real person. <laughs> with feelings and everything. Oh, this one's <laughs> very popular. She's very popular. There's a few. Uh, there's a few, bro. What's her name? A Brazilian. Yeah, there you go. Karina Lamos. Oh, this guy knows. 
Four foot three inches. I, to me, it is the funniest fucking shit. For That's somebody. how he says sexy. Uh, what, <laughs> what, what about have you seen? Have you seen the girl on the T- on TLC, Shauna Ray? No, she's twenty one, but she has a disease where she looks like she's fucking ten. So the oh, poor thing. girl and. And like all the guys that try to pick her up are pedophiles. Are pedophiles. Oh, like, are like poor girls. Oh, think about that. Poor but they're girl, not actually bro. doing Anyways, anything wrong. I sent her a DM. <laughs> and, uh, Have you guys seen the Croatia? And you're like, well, uh, yeah, you want another one? She was supposed to get naked if Croatia won the Euro, the, the World Cup. The hot chick from Croatia? Yeah. Uh, she was, yeah, she was, she, but, uh, but I, I, I saw her on it. Yeah, her, but her face, when you take a look at it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Makeup. Yeah, it gets worse if you cover her body. Yeah, but then after oh, it does, it, it's crazy. If you, I'm sure if you take off her That's top, true. her face wouldn't matter at all, <laughs> right? <laughs> so it, she has it, eyes. What? Yeah, she was getting in trouble. Oh in yeah, I see. I see what you're talking about here. Yeah, cover cover the body. Yeah, I can see. Yeah, it, you yeah, see in it? this picture. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. how shit must guitar be after? Like you can't get a drink. Can't Bro, call I, a whore, I heard they didn't even they didn't even tell blown. people that when they bought their tickets. Yeah, yeah like they, they found they found they found out when they got there that they're not yeah, they serving changed alcohol. They changed the rules. They had an like agreement. Then they reneged. Yeah, they yeah, reneged they, on the agreement. They were supposed they, to be able to sell, but booze there was and booze, and they were being sold only for the Qatari princes. And shit. They pulled yeah. the fast what was, what one. What did you say? Reneggers. They 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 renegotiated. That's what it's called. Reneging. I know. I was just saying. I hate neg again. People that neg like that. Yeah. Neggers. Reneggers No Reneggers <laughs> You don't hate the original negotiators <laughs> Well how do we know we were there good All right. um, Indian givers <laughs> Indian giver <laughs> Is what they used to say Like if you Like that like take if, it back. if you take it back But what's fucked up is When I was young I didn't realize The connotation The reason why they were saying it Was so stupid Because they said you're, They were referring to Native Americans Yeah who said here Take the land But then no Don't don't take it We want it back But they didn't say Take the land No of course not That's what bug me It's like (laughs) All these Indian givers Like they they, didn't give it to you They got psyched out For a couple of pelts (laughs) And a fucking You (laughs) lied and took it Yeah Yeah. It should be called White takers Yeah yes (laughs) Oh fuck That's a good Yes That's what it should be called Don't be such a white taker Yeah I'll trade my shiny marbles For your vast (laughs) land Yeah yeah So no you you, you fucking tricked people, bro. For your King Kong slammer. But what's your thoughts on all these people? Like, I can't stand when people fucking call each other colonizers. And oh, that's stupid because oh. everybody was a like. No, <laughs> nobody, nobody. Yeah. I'll give you. I'll give you. Are uh, you from Ethiopia? Nobody is. <laughs> nobody is a colonizer. I think it's a you, compliment. You're not a colon. No one now is a colonizer <laughs> no. because you're not. Col- you're born now. Yeah, of course. This is so racist. To attribute guilt to a, an innocent person now yeah. based on something that it might even genetically not even be connected. Right. It could just be his country. I'll give you an example. Yeah, yeah. If I move to the States, I become an American citizen, people will say, Americans blame me for shit that Americans have done for years. Yeah. Yeah. I'm a Greek guy, genetically yeah. from Greece, who yeah. moved there. How the fuck come now I have all this guilt? What are you talking about? Yeah. Dude? What are you talking Misplaced. about? Misplaced. But but even even at that, even even if it was true, if you were direct descendant, if your father was fucking You didn't whoever, make that choice. But even at that, everybody, you better be happy that he colonized so you could have a life. Because if it wasn't for that, you would be dead. You wouldn't exist. Yeah, yeah. There's, a, there's that. But the whole butterfly effect, we're not even going to get into that. It's more of you can't. <laughs> it's butterfly, for, you say? But you can't pay for the sins of the father. No. That's crazy. No. If your well, dad you commits a crime, if your dad commits a crime, right. you shouldn't go to jail. No. But there's, there's no. places in the world where you do. You, I bet that's. Backwards. That's yeah. savage. You, we have to judge people on individual basis. Yeah. yeah. If you did something, he doesn't have to pay for it. Yeah. It's yeah. fucking insane to attribute that. And you know who does group mentality? Racists. Yes. The people that yell that shit, call dice or whatever, are racists. The ones yeah. that go all white people, or all black people, yeah. all the Pro- second you go all a person. That's definition you're a of racist. Fucking racist. Yeah. Of course, they're professional victims. Those yeah. people. Yeah, and they're big racists. That's right. why I don't deal with them. Uh, what about the the, uh, the aboriginals yeah. that say Aborigines. that that fucking uh, oh you fucking you you killed our tribe you you, you, you fucking you know you well we did but the, uh, hold on hold on but, 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 so but, but what you're so exactly. they, though. I know they were doing that, but that's not what the aboriginals like again that's not what they're saying like for example here I know the First Nations bro they ask for basic shit yeah yeah and yeah, we no. make it we they're, make they're it the media makes it seem bro. Like they're asking, they're like, you know, we would like yeah. this tree, and then we Trudeau's want like, water. True cry. Ah, he's like, yeah, I'm ah. so sorry, I'm so sorry. Yeah, he does like, I can't give you any. I can't give you. Yeah, water. he goes. Oh, yeah, yeah. He, can, yeah, he makes fun <laughs> of me. He puts <laughs> the headdress. <laughs> hey, so they're not. They're not saying get the fuck out of the country. They don't say any of that shit. The media makes it seem like all they're saying is, bro, get the fuck off our land. Yeah. This is the last thing we have left. Yeah. And now you want to take half to to put a pipe or to do whatever the fuck. Yeah, yeah. Do around. Spend an extra couple million dollars. Go around because fuck you. Yeah. 
But that's not a, a white man, uh, no, that's Native a, American man. That's, no, that's a government. That is a government. Be, government being not giving a shit. shit about its fucking people. Yeah. But the media, it's so much. If they divide us, it's so much easier to control. Uh, exactly. Us. Of course. And what they'll tell you is, bro, the natives don't like you. Fuck these natives. And then they'll tell the natives, the uh, fucking bro, white, white people, are, they don't like. They're trying to steal your land. And they make people fight. But fuck, I, 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 I already said on the French podcast, they're never. I'm never falling for that shit. Uh, they're not gonna get me because I know who the real enemy is, and it's not my fucking neighbor. But I don't give a shit if he's Indian, Native American, whatever the fuck black, is. White, purple, that's, or yeah, green. Yeah, that's you, not my fucking enemy, bro. My enemy is. Uh, unless he's a Jew. <laughs> you you yeah. know it's crazy though. No, no, no. But, uh, no, no. Those the Jews aren't my enemy. The enemy my enemy of is my these enemies. cocksuckers that are taking advantage of everyone, and it's normally government people that fucking take advantage. Yeah, of. Mm-hmm. that's that's you, true. You that's know what's crazy enemy. though? You guys make an excellent point. Like, how much more expensive is it to go around? Like, they don't even have that much land left anymore. It, it's it's a lot of stuff that comes into play. It's not just that. It's also okay. Negotiate. You want that piece? Let's say in the middle. Yeah, that's yeah, it. It's gonna cost you money. That's you gotta exactly give us it. water. You gotta yeah. build something over there. Not like you couldn't go, but they don't want to negotiate. They no. just they bully them. And then when they fight back, it's, it's they're, they're savage. They're yeah. enemies. It's, bro, somebody was trying to break through my house. I said no. And they start breaking through. Of course, I'm going to defend it. And then I'm a savage because I'm defending my... Yeah. Get the fuck savage out of here, Savage is the, is the correct word to use there. You know you know that that word is racist too, apparently? Uh, you can't say savage? Yeah. No, no you could say savage, but it depends how you use it. If I if you just refer to... Because what I'm saying is the no, way like they're... Savage the way they're, mode. <laughs> yeah, yeah, savage mode. Actually. No, no. Because the way they're referring to it is that's what they're, they're calling them savages. As if there's, but they're not. They're doing what any person... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Any civilized person would right. do is protect their fucking yeah. land. But they're like, look at these. It's not savage because that's what I would do. That's what you would do unless you're crazy and yeah. you're just going to let people go through. He's but they savage make them look. As in uncivilized. No, but yeah, that's, the, the, that's, how they, that's how they frame it, but yeah, they're not. Yeah. What I'm saying but is they're not. Sa- but the word, I think, is like yeah. a, a faux pas now. Yeah, everything you know? is a faux pas. Uh, everything's a faux pas. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, look, breastfeeding. Yeah, yeah. Um, breastfeeding mother is no. Chest no. feeding person. It's, yeah, it's chest is muscle. The, yeah, whatever. the correct. So I'm not, gonna be, I'm not going to be masturbating. I'm going to be a penis-touching person in public then. <laughs> yeah. You are a penis-touching person in public already. <laughs> but, you know, I don't You're like a what public the, penis pusher. Be careful with that shit, bro. The media, the government, they try to make you think that your enemy is your, enemy is your neighbor, bro, just to fuck with you. It's not. Yeah, it never is. Yeah, sit down right. and that's, talk about that's it. the definition of COVID-19, right? Yeah, you're going to sit down and talk about fuck. it. You're going to realize you're both getting fucked by the government. Yeah, you we're, both have to we're yelling at each text. other for the same thing, right? Yeah. yeah. Speaking yeah. of government, were you downtown at all last week? Did you see the Palais des Congrès? Oh yeah, well, I know because of my sister. Yeah, they, 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 yeah, they had some kind of a, a big what event or whatever. It, they had like a, a big climate change. Yeah, some okay, sort of it was a climate, climate thing. Yeah. Okay. The um, the police presence. Yeah, downtown. we had our CMP officers there. They came. Well, one of them came to my show. Oh, for oh, real? The horses? Yeah, they were horsing yeah. around now. I asked him eh? about that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I said, do you feel weird like cosplaying? Like, do you feel? <laughs> weird? And he, he laughed. He's like, well, no, no, we like the uniform. I go, but does it like you have people dressed like adults and then you show yeah. up with your hat? Does it feel weird? And he's like. No, no, like we're used to it. It's a little weird, but not really. It goes like uh, we like it. Like it's, it's traditional or whatever. Yeah. I, 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 it shit. doesn't seem to me that it's a very agile uniform. <laughs> you know, it's fucking like double breasted all the way <laughs> yeah. up to the fucking top. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, like yeah, yeah. this guy has to bust a sprint over a black guy after a black but guy. But they don't do that. They, 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 they leave that to the cops. They're our FBI. Yeah. They're, they're they do high level shit. Yeah. Right, right, right. Yeah, they 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 do tax evasion and fucking yeah. You know, no, no, more, more. They that, do. Uh, like, he told like, like sex well, trafficking, multiple homicides. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What are we not trafficking these days? We traffic fucking everything. Organ trafficking, child trafficking, everything. Human oh. trafficking. There's traffic on the highways. Child trafficking. Sex All trafficking. kinds of trafficking. Listen to this. I realized something. So in the month of June, we got to fly from Atlanta to Montreal in a private jet. Sick. Oh. PJ? PJ, dog. When you arrive at the private jet airport, which is another airport for cool people. Atlanta's like, crazy airport. Not, no, isn't not, it one of the busiest airports forget in the that. States? Forget that. We were not that airport. We are another airport. That, that a private is, yeah. jet airport. Okay. It is, yeah. It's the biggest one. Um, but we, so we show up to this private airstrip. Listen to how PJs work. When you go there, we go up to the counter. Hi, my name is... We don't need your name. We don't want to know your name. Oh my God! This is some Epstein shit. shit. What we want to know is Epstein the tail shit. number of your of your plane. We'll get well, your pilot. It's called the Lolita Express. So, <laughs> <laughs> so then when we get, so basically it's the pilot's job to just grab right before he lands, grab everyone's passports, make sure to give it to customs if customs shows up. They didn't for us. Um, another thing. So I was thinking about it, and the other day I go, "That's how human trafficking works." Well, right there, you have that's private any, planes. Any trafficking. Yeah, you have private planes because you're like. The fuck are they getting people? Let's say air, like someone stopping at the border. Not if you're doing PJs. If you're doing private planes, like let's say the Epstein shit, bro, they could have trafficked all kinds of people. Yeah. As long as you get them on the plane where no one's asking questions, let's say from uh, Florida where they were. Okay. Bro, when he went to his island, there's no customs there. It's his fucking yeah. island. 
Right. Those people never come back. <laughs> that's fucking crazy, eh? Yeah. That's, well, what about people? Is what? What about drugs? Like everything? Like, well, dr- don't be a narc, bro. <laughs> you're the narc if you're ratting me out here. <laughs> I mean, but I'm just saying, like it, that. Well, I mean, they're using cargo planes now at this point. Like, oh, there's uh, so much. It's not even enough that just in the in the carry on. You no, exactly. Fucking, Makes sense. That was the samples at the in the eighties. Now they're fucking uh, they're putting it under under cruise ships. They're fucking welding it uh, to the bottom of the hull. What I'm saying is much trafficking is being done. Oh, all kinds of trafficking. That's There's crazy. a lot of a lot of trafficking going on in the air. But they're going to try to tell you that your enemy is the guy uh, who either didn't get vaccinated or whatever. The That's fuck it. That's yeah. It. yeah. Who's That's not wearing the enemy. mask? Who's wearing the laundry, mask? Dinner. Who's fucking whatever. Yeah. 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 yeah, but they never look into this shit. Stupid. You know who looks into this shit? What about aliens, bro? <laughs> what about them? What are you? What are about they, them? I'm on the big aliens train now. Train I love thing. sombreros. I love all that shit. You know I what I heard? <laughs> you know what I heard? That take the wall down. The uh, the Roswell, um, the the crash landing in Roswell, was human beings in the aircraft with Down syndrome that were genetic, not genetically modified, but uh, surgically modified to look like aliens. Dropped by Stalin. Okay, yeah, that's a bit far. What? But here's the thing now. That's a bit far. It's bad, yeah, but I didn't like that one. You what ex- the fuck did you just say, you dirty whore? You expect me to believe yeah, that a bunch that of aliens with What's Down syndrome could fly from Russia to <laughs> no, the States? No, they didn't. They just dropped it. They dropped it from a Russian uh, air air carrier that was carrying the, the shuttle, and they dropped it next to... First of all, they penetrated America's airspace. <laughs> yeah, no which problem. Is number one. And then they dropped it right next to a fucking another like crazy military uh, area, area f- twenty four. What's, it called? What's or it called? This uh, this uh, thing. Well, it's Russian the, crea- the creation Down of Area fifty one. It's. I was I was talking more about. I've never heard this no, retarded it's theory. Bullshit. I'm it's honest with you. I'm one. honest with you. Fucking like it. I'm all yeah. Like yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It was. Uh, oh, no, besides well, take of, that off because we're just gonna get well, the yeah. taken down. There's but a, see, it, it exists. There's a the lot government of surgically altered disabled children to look like aliens. Disabled children? Well, they got to use little people. Yeah, because they're, they're short and shit. Okay, Roswell was plain full of alien-like children sent by Stalin. What? A new book called uh, Area 51 suggests that the flying object that crashed at Roswell wasn't full of aliens, but alien-like children. The flight was allegedly intended to cause panic in the U.S. That's right. See that? Not to disappoint to cause panic. Pretty crazy, right? Yeah, I'm about to disappoint a few hardened uh, alienists here. Or is that what we're calling them now? Alienists? How do you know they're hard? (laughs) (laughs) I'm always hard. (laughs) Uh, Okay. I'm about to disappoint some soft dick losers. (laughs) (laughs) This is wild. Soft dick insult. There's there's another story that uh, about uh, a pilot that flying over Antarctica makes contact with a, a, a UFO that has, that has Nazi, uh, that has uh, swastikas on it. And shit, he invites them into, like, the center of, like, the, the earth or underneath the ice caps. And uh, how uh, they say that this guy claims that World War II was the aliens teaming up with the Nazis yeah. trying to stop the Jews <laughs> because they were getting too powerful and taking yeah. shit over. But in the end... The Jews ended up winning. We prevailed. <laughs> you know? We prevailed. The otherworldly. Uh, Bro, I, I've heard about the this theory. Fuck. I've heard about this theory. It is insane. Yeah. Of course it is. Oh, you think? Part of yes. the of the Thank you for letting us know, bro. I was going down a rabbit hole right now. <laughs> yeah. The aliens were part of the axis of evil. But what about Bro, the whole? The I was fuck? just talking about the whole fact that they said that they were going to release information on October 31st of this year, and they just never did. Who's and they? they? S- the government. They said that they were going to release. They were going to release a UFO report. <laughs> we're going to release a <laughs> Did I say release a <laughs> Well, you you got what I was saying. <laughs> so that, that should be a new Me word. Talk good. <laughs> Me good talking. Uh, <laughs> they're going to release files that were uh, that were going to be fucking. Uh, they say like uh, telling us stuff we never seen before. Shattering. They said they were going to do it on October thirty first, and they've been just postponing it every every month. Nazi since. related or alien related? No, alien related. Alien. Okay, yeah. I think all the Nazi info that we could have had is is probably public public nah, record. Yeah, I just by feel now. nobody cares though. I think. Yeah. Okay, this is a crazy theory. Uh, this plausible. Hmm. Yeah, very plausible. Big time. Because the Russians love to fuck with people. Right. It's more likely that there's the Russian children than there are aliens. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but then they would have still they would it's still implying that the Russians found the saucer. 
No, they probably built the. No, saucer. they probably built it, bro. Did you see how the first crash? What they, it was? It's, it was built so cheaply. Yeah, like it looked like tinfoil, styrofoam, and tinfoil. That's what they're showing. That's what they see. This is again. They just this, threw just some kids out of a fucking window, bro. And they're fucking. Uh, they're saying that that wasn't the original stuff. They brought in a weather balloon. To oh, maybe, right maybe. Yeah, but what I mean, yeah, look, tinfoil. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's not real. See, this is the this is the famous picture, top top right. Top right, yeah, that's the one where he, apparently he's he's pissed off in this picture because that is tinfoil. They're making him, <laughs> yeah, they're making him repose with stuff that they brought in okay. afterwards, supposedly. Supposedly, yeah, declass. What did I say? Cla- uh, <laughs> I you know. said supposedly. No, no, but uh, <laughs> the word before that I tubbleware. Shut up. Um, yeah, I mean, that's that's look a, like that's, that's a fake photo though. That, that alien upskirt is fake. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> hold on, hold on. That one's real. Go down. Go down. On the right, on the right. Go right. Right, 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 right. All the way right. <laughs> all the way to the right. All the way yeah, to the right, bro. Real. All the way. This yeah, one, that, yeah, that, that one's yeah, real. That's Click real. on it. That's the real I've one. I've actually yeah. seen that. I've <laughs> seen that guy. Yeah. <laughs> Look at the, the other one that took its place now on the right. <laughs> oh, that's, that's, that's a selfie. That's, yeah, that's, that's his legit. father. Yeah. <laughs> this is my uncle, bro. <laughs> Holy shit. Huh? That's a good theory. That's yeah. very plausible. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. I like it. I want to believe. Yeah, I, I want, want to believe, believe too, but yeah. You know. But I want to believe Until that they've they been here forever. Until they personally shove the bottle at my ass. I'll, I'll it's more because the government lies too much. Even That's when the they thing. tell me yeah. that there's aliens, I'm like, I don't trust you. Yeah, for sure. Anytime they say there isn't something. It normally is. Yeah. I don't know. All right. Agreed. Listen, Jofo boys. Agreed. Uh, Agreed. I have your links in the description. People should watch the Jofo podcast if they're not already. You guys are going to upgrade your setup, your cameras, yeah, yeah. Um, your fucking desk, the way you're sitting. Tell, yeah, tell Bruno that. not to try too much crazy Hear stuff. Hear that, right? Bruno? Yeah. Try to upgrade, but don't try to reinvent the wheel. Exactly. And hopefully you guys are going to set up some live shows, and then we'll promote yeah, that shit too. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah. You going to help us out with the first one if we do it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You, that's, you, that's on camera, eh? So. It's on camera. All right. It's on camera. All right, Jofo boys. Thank Let's you, guys. Do it. Thank you, man. Peace. We built this prison cell because we can't trust ourselves. Critical.